Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Rich. I use the he, him pronouns. You're watching my YouTube channel where I play amazing tabletop role-playing games with friends. This is part of a new series that I started in 2023 called uh, MCU Sundays or Marvel Cinematic Universe Sundays. I have own none of this IP. I'm not claiming any rights whatsoever. We're just playing in the sandbox. It is a work of satire uh, and, and made by fans. I make no money from this whatsoever. Please don't sue me, Disney. I, 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 why am I such a Disney like lover? Because I've got a Star Wars thing and now a Marvel thing. Am I going to do like a Gravity Falls? See, no, I'm not. I'm not. Because how many different? Uh, probably a lot. Uh, I'm not going to stop thinking about that now and just say that we're running <laughs> it, 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 it's <laughs> Sunday. Wow. I'm going to mm. pause this. So we're going to just talk about Gravity. No. Um, <laughs> I'm playing. We're running a two month series. I'm very excited about using Hit the Streets, Defend the Block, a game that I, I wrote a few years back. It is a street level supers game, and I have had a lot of fun setting it in a, a real world place, which is Bushwick. Uh, that is a very large neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York, because if I'm going to do neighborhood related stuff in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's either going to be LA or it's it's really should be new york and i didn't want to have it in manhattan because wow how do you even deal with all of the like manhattanness of marvel so it's brooklyn and i found bushwick which i think is a really interesting neighborhood turns out there are lots of youtube videos of people just literally walking around in bushwick uh, it is a pretty delightful place uh, heavy with the graffiti low with the alleyways and uh, that is where we are at we are a few sessions into this game the group uh, has <clears throat> conflicted with their rivals who are a uh, Zill a zillow court sponsored super team known as bushwick's best <clears throat> and uh they've had a few run-ins with them uh, one of them has a long-standing not terribly productive or healthy relationship with a member of the team and uh, there was a discovery near the end of last session that a less than um, wise member of the team decided to amp up their curating by setting up some kind of superheroing possibility. Uh, and we led right up to the door step of that, or we, we cliffhangered right as that thing happened. And if I remember, uh, Dynamo had said something along the lines of "frickin' hammer, bro." So, yeah, uh, "frickin' hammer, bro." So, um, that's uh, I think enough to to kick us off to introduce characters. So, Kate, if you could introduce yourself and tell us about your character to remind us, it's been a couple weeks. Of course, yeah, I am Kay of the She and They variety, and I am playing Olivier Raven, uh, a the child of Remy Lebeau and Rogue, who has left the X-Men to try and figure out a bit about who he is, and somehow has ended up with this very strange crew and is kind of just rolling with it. Yes, and we established last session that Olivier could have had his fr a free ride for college, but decided yeah. he wanted to get college loans and understand the American experience. Yeah, of he refused to take Xavier money. Incredible student debt. That's what you wanted to to launch yeah. your 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 independence with. Very well. Independence with student debt and a part time job at a coffee shop. Yep smart you've got you've checked all the boxes mark you are up next please introduce yourself remind us about your character yeah i, I am uh, monique martinez better known as dynamo on the streets uh and uh, yeah i uh what do i do a bike messenger or uh yeah i got it i got a replacement bike so i think i'm okay right uh i got paid got a new bike uh, i did some uh <laughs> did, a, did a little sales gig for the other team uh, last session uh, which went actually very well and uh, that, that bought me my new bike and uh, now we're just uh, chilling in the park with the you know with the neighborhood I, I still am, am amazed that you gigged for the rival team 
and uh, there's just something I did not expect to happen, <laughs> and I adore it. Cool. Uh, Sherry, if you could uh, introduce yourself to remind us about your character. Sure. I'm playing Jeff, who who fell into a situation where he has this really cool suit that knows a lot more about superheroing than he does. He's kind of along for the ride. Um, his, and so his code name is Vector. Um, he's the rookie of the group. Uh, wherever he goes, so goes his cat, Mr. Muffin, uh, who he found when he found his suit. Um, Ian, I think that's, and he's having a hard time with things, but then he always does. So there you go. He's having a hard time with things. Excellent. Thank you so much. And the last but not least, returning to the loving embrace of this group, Greg, welcome back. Introduce yourself. Tell us about your character. Hey, I'm Greg. I use he, him pronouns as well. Uh, my character is Barracuda, who also uses he, him pronouns. Uh, Barracuda is a, an elderly Italian uh, bodega owner uh, who mysteriously has disappeared um, and was not present uh not related at all to a, a a flight out of out of utah um so i'm excited to see where this uh where this goes um i i'm the uh dr strange light uh sort of <laughs> we'll see exactly what that means i did watch dr strange um uh, mountains the, of madness mountains of, or other no something like that. <laughs> yeah one of them the, into um, the, i don't know into the something oh, the man. one with the book in the I white know, book the dark the hole. red book yeah yeah um, multiverse of madness good multiverse of madness that's it i did watch that on the plane um and then i was even more confused about exactly what dr strange's powers are so um <laughs> so is so is marvel they're really good so is marvel so good uh no Scarlet Witch. I'm just gonna gonna put a a a line on, on Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah, good. It's so sad. Why do they always make her a villain? I love Scarlet Witch. <sighs> Sweet. Amen. <laughs> she's, she's been done dirty. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. You played Quicksilver once, so you probably do have some Scarlet Witch feels. Yes, my my twin babies who are forever done wrong. In most adaptions, except X Men Evolution. X Men Evolution it treated them well. So we begin with Barracuda. Uh, so Greg, do you have any ideas? Was it a a a bodega related emergency? Was it a family related emergency? Was a magical or weird? related emergency that pulled oh, you I, away i think magical is what we have to lean into um so a barracuda has that 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 compendium it's one of the chained books right from the um greg is highly ignorant of the marvel cinematic universe it's okay the uh the place where the the the, the grand sorcerer lives um it's one of those chain oh books. oh you talk, um, oh you're talking about where um Oh shoot! The current Sorcerer Supreme, who yes. replaced Doctor Strange, who also appears in She Hulk. I can't remember where he's from either. Wow, I feel bad um, about that. Huh. Huh. Okay. Amartaj. Yes, thank you. There you are is. a better Googler than I. Thank you. <laughs> Where does where is Wong from? <laughs> oh go. man, I couldn't remember Wong, so I was actually going Kurt Sorcerer Supreme MCU, and it said Wong, and then you you screamed out Camartage. Yes, Camartage, where <laughs> where Madison occasionally visits. Yeah. And I think the book actually like landed in Barracuda's lap one day. He didn't go out seeking this power, right? Um, I think he he picked it up off of like a New York Public Library shelf. At one point, the book had transported itself there, um, and he's been kind of uh, a bit like Vector, uh, kind of pulled into this whole thing uh, a little bit unwittingly. Um, but this was a while ago. This is probably when mm -hmm. when uh, Malvolio was like, you know, in his thirties. So he's had some time with the book and, and has sort of understands it, but it still is full of surprises. Um, so I think he he went down to the basement shortly after those those uh, two younger bratty children um, were in the store that that Jeff 
uh, you know, shoot off, um, opened the book and then uh, was unexpectedly pulled into uh, a, a multi-dimensional something. Oh man. So th- I think what we do is, is we have a cold open with Barracuda's like a tight on Barracuda's face with a bunch of very multiverse of madness, weird lines uh, stretched of different multiversal areas as he's spinning around like vertigo style. And then uh, he lands on uh, a bridge. It's a bridge that has no uh, discernible, like what didn't happen. It wasn't a planned bridge. It seems to be a bridge between worlds. And we see as Barracuda stands, we see a Barracuda in another reality like these reflections of different multiversal versions of barracuda one where he's he's a little more buff right he he stands a little stronger he's more of a arms akimbo style uh superhero and then there's another with barracuda wearing something similar to the doctor strange cloak but it hides his face in shadow and we can only recognize him from his bald pate uh, shining just a little bit amidst the shadow and he seems like a dark and menacing figure uh and and then we see a head as, as barracuda continues walking along this bridge trying to find his way back i would assume right want to find your yes. way back yeah uh you're shocked to see that there is one of these worlds where your grandson, Geraldo Romano, the Bushwick Basher in your world, is a menacing villain. Uh, you, you see him. He is actively like choking a person you recognize as a hero. Who, who is it he's defeating as you stumble upon this vision of another world? Oh, um, I think it has to be. Uh, hold on, I'm looking at our. There's there's a couple <laughs> new people in the NPC tab. Yes, they um, are. <laughs> uh, who is Ray? Oh, Ray is the sister of uh of Olivier. uh, Olivier's younger twin sister. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe not. Um, it could also be another villain, you know. Yeah, I was I was thinking Hammer Bro. Nice. He's choking out Hammer Bro. Uh, that sounds amazing. The very handsome Noah Gabrielson. Uh, and yeah, it's, you can see it. It's Hammer Bro's feebly reaching for the wrist, trying to break free you see the chain hammer that hammer bro wields famously uh once welled by the black dwarf one of uh thanos's minions that he uses is broken by him and i'm curious what do you do when you see your grandson in this villainous garb um I think Barracuda, uh, like, you know, there's the bridge uh, and he starts to walk off to like, instead of walking across the bridge, he starts to walk off the edge of the bridge and the bridge starts to turn with him. Ooh, neat. Um, And as he walks, it becomes, it goes from this like stony arch to it starts to turn into like more like a trussing. It looks a bit more like the the bottom of the Brooklyn Bridge as it turns into steel. Nice. Um and he sort of uh, uh, and he's you know it's an older man. It's a little bit difficult now. And he gets down, squats a little bit lower, puts his hand on a rail and then like drops himself gently into that reality. Bam. Uh, when you do, you immediately notice that the smell of this Brooklyn reminds you of the smell of New York in the 70s uh, before the cleanup, before there was a focus to, you know, no broken windows, uh, when there was, uh, you know, there there were adult theaters in downtown and lots and lots of crime. It just that immediate sense memory rushes back to you. And 
your grandson he glances over at you thinking that you're a new threat. And then uh, he lets go of the hair bro's neck and he like steps up. Grandpa, what are you doing? Uh, and Barracuda like drops his arm uh, and oh, Geraldo! And he throws the uh, the the silk sash for his his smoking jacket <laughs> flies <gasps> off and grabs around his arms because they're they're off of off of the uh, uh, hammer bro. Um, oh, that's and awesome! They, they slide him across the street. Totally, no roll needed. That's just amazing. Sounds good. <laughs> his cloak is actually his silk sash. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a real problem. It's a real problem. We're fine, though. Hey, Grandpa, you okay? What are you doing out of your home? And he points over at the... Where's your, uh, where's your, um, where's your oxygen? You need me to go get you the, the tank? You want me to carry you? I need any oxygen. Yeah? yeah. One, of those, one of those things you've been working on will pay off? Uh, and comes and, over and it, it like gently puts an arm around you. He's a lot more and, muscular. He's a lot thicker. Is there like a like distinctive tattoo on his arm now? That's like yeah. the Brooklyn Basher logo or something. Yeah, like, it's just like Basher down the, you know, and then B A S H. Yeah, he's got all kinds. He's got lots of ink. All mm -hmm. self-aggrandizing ink. Like a hip hop star or something, you know. This is wrong, grandson. This is wrong. Ooh. I mean, I, I was okay. Yeah, I was going to kill him. And uh, uh, I think I reach over and like uh, pull hammer bro back to his feet right with like i lift up the the concrete underneath him oh wow some sort of like illusion thing <laughs> to pull him back up this is not how we fight ish 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 what what do you mean eh, eh, how we fight grandpa That's how you taught me. Not an honest fight. So what? You want me to wait till he's ready to go and then we go again? Hmm. I mean, I could do that. I broke his friggin' ammo, so, you know. He ain't nothing now. What are you fighting for? A family. Always a family. Mm. A house we're going to keep our hold on, on Bushwick, Grandpa. Mm. got to drive these people out. That's what you said. <laughs> and he points at the, the, the tattoos. That's not what Bathroom, that's not what uh, the, uh, the Bushwick's best does. He's pointing at his tattoos. Yeah, he's. Because I'm imagining that, like in this reality, he's fighting for Bushwick's best, right? He's fighting for the sure. corporate interest. Yeah, because that's the evil thing, right? Because, <clears throat> um, uh, all right, Grandpa. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, listen, we need to get you home. Skippy's probably worried about you. Barracuda's a little interested in <laughs> going what home? home looks like here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He will, he will, he, like, he gently walks you over and you come to this Humvee, this guy, like, bash mobile on the side, painted, like, in the style of Bushwick's graffiti. And there's all kinds of art on it. There's nothing subtle about the Bushwick basher. Uh, he, he, like, helps you up into the passenger side. He treats you like he thinks you're an invalid, man. Like, he's, 
shocked that you pulled off some magic stuff. It really, he's a gog. He's not like, oh, my grandpa can't do magic. It's more like, I can't believe my grandpa's doing magic again, uh, is the reaction that he's had. He I'm fine. You, I'm fine. He gets in, he gets in, there's like little hanging evergreen tree, you know, and uh, he's playing some music boom, 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 in, the, in the car, and then he turns it down immediately as soon as he's like, oh, sorry, sorry, Grandpa. He drives for a little bit, and he drives to the edge of Bushwick, where a lot of residential is. He drives right past your bodega, which is closed down um, and has a different name. And ends up taking you to like a quiet part of Bushwick that's much more residential. And there's a nice, nice house, uh, fenced in yard. And, uh, and he pulls up there and he, he comes around, he runs around, he opens up the door for you. And, and you start heading up the walk with him. And he, he would he have a key? No, I don't think he has a key to your place. So he's like, stands by you, waiting for you to unlock and open the door. What do you do? Uh, I reach in and I pull out a, a set of keys and I thumb it. It's like the it's like a janitorial set of keys. <laughs> so many different keys on it. Um, and he's trying to think back about like, is there a time where I actually lived at this house? Like, I don't remember. Um. And then uh, I find a key that's a little bit off. Not one I expected to be on the keychain. And I try that in the door. Nice. So you jiggle for a little bit. We see your old gnarled hands as you put it in the lock. And you start to turn and the door turns on its own and it opens up. And you see in a wheelchair, the blanket over it, very, very thin knobby knees underneath the blanket is you um and he looks up at you and his, his face is more drawn his body is much more frail it's as if a lot of the life was leached from it you see see he points at you and you see that there are these black veins that run down the inside of his forearm what are you doing here you haven't been taking care of our grandson he's strong look at him He's weak. He's weak in the mind. He's always been weak in the mind. At least he's strong in the body. No, no, no. His heart, his heart has rotted. He fights for the wrong thing. He fights for this place. He fights for the family. You're an idiot. He fights for the corporate interests, and you know it. I own the corporations. <laughs> and he reaches, he pulls a little oxygen mask back over, and then he flings his hand and you see he's like gnarled and one of the nails has actually fallen off at one point and you feel yourself being thrown forcefully back and bam Ooh. you slide back and uh is there anything you want to do about that as he just tries to throw you away oh i'm gonna make it so that it's been an illusion this entire time and barracuda is at the back door of this building He's throwing off his actual grandson. Oh, no. Because his grandson flies through the air. He's like, Grandpa, bam. He lands right on the bash mobile. Beep, 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 beep. And uh, we see the old codger of Barracuda as he chuckles because he's still convinced by the, uh, the illusion. He reaches up and he pulls the door closed, coughs as that magic took a lot out of him and he reaches over to hit the joystick to turn around and when where does he run into you are you just in the home and avoiding him what do you do um so you know i think he's got like a bunch of the his corporate papers right since he he owns the corporations um and like the file cabinets and they're all you know, very shoddily done. Um, and uh, Barracuda has grabbed uh, the, uh, like the, oh my gosh, the, like the, the grill starter from the back and is covering all of the, the documents <laughs> in kerosene. 
dice. He comes in, and uh, you hear him muttering about making himself a corned beef. And he comes into the the back area with the kitchen and his office. And you've he sees like, the hell is that? And you've now put a bunch of lighter fluid, fluid slash yes. kerosene and everything. And do you light it, or is this a threat? Oh, I light it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. So it lights up, uh, flame kicks off and runs across, and you see the horror on a very withered version of your own face. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think you've I think this is it, when man. I do the, the portal <laughs> yep. thing. It's just a little, little, little open, a little sling ring action and uh, step out after ruining a evil version of your self's life. That's great. Um, cool. So you portal out. And when you step through, you step into as we now move to map time and modern time as uh, it got timey wimey. So some days have passed. But that's what was the um, park we were at the Hernandez Park, I think uh, Maria Hernandez Park. Yeah. Yeah, so we jump into the Maria Hernandez Park as I hastily bring up my Google Maps. There she is. Oh, what a lovely park. Let's just 3D that. Nice. So we can't afford uh, drone coverage for our show, but this is what it looks like according to the Google Maps. Check it out. Pretty cool. It's got a, a big dog run. And this awesome area here, the basketball playground. Nice. This looks really awesome. Big playground here. Is that tennis courts? Looks like a tennis court, yeah. Is it? Because they don't see a fence. I guess maybe it's been pulled over that. Pickleball court or something. Oh, it's pickleball. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be pickleball. All pickleball all the time. Anyway, you step through Barracuda. Uh, to immediately he see overhead, like flying overhead, is a giant mech suit. <laughs> uh, someone in, with jetpacks in a mech suit, mech suit uh, that lands right in the middle there at that weird, almost looks like a little maze type thing. Um, and uh, he immediately... This, this guy in a mech suit, which you can see in the Sinister Six column of our NPCs, row 43, uh, he immediately launches out a number of missiles. They fly out and one slams into the pickleball court and sends several uh, white people uh, flying away. And uh, there's one that, that hits one of the basketball goals and blows it up. It's... Uh, yes, the, quite a bit of damage immediately done to Maria Hernandez Park, and one of the missiles, Dynamo, lands very close to your grandmother, uh, enough to where she throws her arms back and there's wind, uh, but she is not actually harmed. Gordon, regional pickleball champion runner-up. Yes, he was, he was thrown clear. Um, and I think the last thing that I did last session was like grab her and she's like, run, I got this. <laughs> cool. And she, yeah, after the explosion, she is definitely getting the hell out of Dodge. Uh, so Jeff, you were there, or, right? As Jeff, you were just, just happened to be there. Oh, there was the pet adoption stuff that was going on, right? Right, yeah. Dogs versus cats, annual uh, fundraiser. So, mm -hmm. yep. Um, so I was taking pictures of all the dogs on leash, and then I was taking pictures of Skippy on the leash, you know, nice, just to nice. even up the quotient. Um, so I think it was over and, by Olivia. And it's Olivia. MCU, so of course they're not going to choose sides. The The competition of dogs between cats is perfectly even. So the dog <laughs> fans perfectly. and cat fans won't be angry. <laughs> I think uh, Dynamo was somewhat nearby, maybe, because I think uh, I give Skippy to Dynamo's grandma to take away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dynamo's grandma. So does Dynamo's grandma have, ha like, was she super in any way back in the day? Or is she just a totally I normal I don't person? think so. I didn't yeah, think so, but she's I just not like, She's more like a uh, modern, modern day Aunt May than old Aunt May. 
Okay. She's, Modern day man. She's, yeah. Maybe not as, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as dead. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so she she takes Skippy, looks at the cat. The cat's like totally nonplussed about any of this because it's a bodega cat, so pretty mm-hmm. chill. And she will be moving away as uh, the rhino says, "This bark is mine now." Uh. So, th- Jeff. Yes. Skippy's have, been handed off. What do you wish I, to do? I, I don't. Well, my whole thing is 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 I'm um, making. I'm, I'm I'm diving for cover just like everyone else, but mostly so that I can switch into my suit without anyone being the wiser. So that's uh, me with uh, Mr. Muffin in my backpack, looking for a little bit of uh, tree cover. Stuff. Oh, we have got to put a roll to the. First of all, I want a roll <laughs> on the table, and I also want to know: Do you do you pull this off, and no one witnesses, or does someone see? Witness, yeah. Yes. Okay, so so this feels like a rookie move because I haven't planned for this. It wasn't like I'm walking around going, and then I'll dodge the, there to go make a change or anything. So I and agree. Mode is wow. Am I being normal or am I being super? I mean. <laughs> What'd you say, Mark? I said, "Mm." (laughs) hmm. It's the transition. Um, It's true. uh, I could see normal because... You're trying to... to And you're also trying to look normal. You're also trying to look normal by running and hiding. So I'm okay okay with normal. All right. And and we'll say that this is trying to be quick thinking. So head? Sure. Okay. So then... Uh, one plus three plus two is six, um, and I think this is going to be a a good feat. So you'll need three successes. The good news is I don't think tension is vol- involved in the roll, but we'll okay. see if you are able to get three. Do you want to spend any spark of your own or save that for the big fight? Oh, man, that's, that's a terrible hard thing. I will... <laughs> Actually, I'll probably spend two just because this is sort of important to Jeff. Okay, all right. Um... Like, I think he's like, he's putting it, yeah, I think it's all adrenaline. So I think he's just going to dump Spark into it without thinking, if that makes any sense. It so, does, yeah. Okay, so that's 8d6. Let's see how it goes. I got exactly three successes. No more, no less. That's all you needed as you get uh, a good success. You're able to, gosh, I'm, I, by the way, I, I spun in and you can actually drop into like first person because it's a park. So that's kind of cool. There is not a lot of tree cover, but I think you are able to like hop this fence maybe and like hunker down near a set of trees and people just happen to have run away far enough. Boy, there's just not a lot of trees in New York. It's New York, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, well, they're all like very groomed. So there's not like you know the the bush stuff that would be growing at the exactly. bottom of it. And, in, but in yes, you, you pull yeah. that off, and you're able to hunker down and hide away in order to change into Vector. <clears throat> Olivier, you've handed off Skippy successfully. What is it that you do? As you see Jeff run away because uh, Jeff's just a regular dude. Yeah, it's a civilian. Olivier sort of sighs, and uh, he's going to run at Rhino, uh, and just, he's martial arts trained, he's going to hit him. Nice. Okay, so we have entered uh, into a new style of conflict, and uh, when I say that, what I mean by it is that, oh, I'm trying to find my... Where do I stick the rules? Is it in safety roller? I probably stuck it in safety and roller. There it is. I just want to pull up my word doc because I'm too lazy to go grab my book from my shelf, which is literally right there. <clears throat> just so lazy. Uh, this is a, a a total threat level. You are fa- facing a major foe. He is geared up and trying to make things super hard. Uh, so the total threat difficulty for this defeating the rhino in his first form is that uh it is a 10 
So you need a total of 10 successes you have to sum up to. For the entirety of the threat, tension is involved in the roll. Um, and remember that the amount of spark you can lose from rolling once when tension is involved in the roll is the, the, the cap is up to the threat that you have, which is 10. You could really get messed up is what I'm saying. So, yes, Rhino, uh, he turns to you and he's like, oh, look, it's pretty boy. What's wrong with your head? You've got a right here. So funny. Uh, he's just trying to talk trash. He's not very good at it. Let's Remy go. loves his white hair. So, uh, Remy. Uh, Olivier loves his white hair, so MBD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you feel that you're being a wild card here? I think so, just straight up punching this dude. Yeah, no, not talking to your team or... Nope, yeah. just going oh, for a punch. Seems like it. Seems seems wild cardish. You're definitely being super. No normal person would run up and punch a giant mech suit. Uh, punching is that hands? It feels like to me. Yeah, it feels sure. hands. Yeah, no hands. And I don't think you're using your mental ability. No. Do you think you're using your control power? Um. I don't think so, because he hasn't, like, tapped someone else's power. I agree. So then that means you're starting with one plus three, four plus two more, six. Do you want to spend any spark? And remember, you spend the spark, you could still lose spark from rolling once. This is going to hurt. I love it. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm going to spend two spark. <sighs> okay. Olivier's... The reckless sort like that. Uh, so he is rolling 8d6. You are. You need four fives or sixes. That is a very hefty hit with four successes, but unfortunately it looks like it costs you a little bit with two ones. <clears throat> Which I believe reduces my spark to zero. Oh my, it, it, if, if, oh, it does. Oh goodness. This was a Pyrrhic victory. In fact, oh, look, oh no, you're at a zero. Oh no. So what happens when you hit zero spark is that, uh, right now you're on, you're teetering on the edge, right? You can withdraw, uh, <clears throat> but if you push any further, you're going to be out of the fight. Yeah. yeah. So what does Olivier's attack that does bother, it does cause some trouble, it, it hurts Rhino, but it doesn't take him down. Uh, what does that look like, Olivier? Yeah, so he, he like rushes up and there's like a lot of like sort of like ducking and moving. He's very uh, flexible, he's martial arts trained. And he finally just somehow when Rhino, he like, did some kind of distraction technique, maybe even threw a card or something. And suddenly he's up on Rhino's side and he goes and it looks like he's about to lift a leg. So Rhino like lifts an arm to block his left side. But what's actually happening is there's a right hand hook that just goes right to his face Ooh. and like shatters some of the protective covering. Nice. Yes. And I love that because, you know, that does the, the typical movie version of a fight where now we can see his human face hidden inside the mech suit, which they literally did even in Amazing Spider-Man in the brief period when Rhino showed up. So, boom, yeah. you, you punch that, uh, you see his face, he looks angry, he's got some kind of weird tattoos along his forehead, uh, but then he reaches out and grabs you in the hand, and it's not attached to his hand, so it doesn't need to work by regular person body physics. So it does the, it just kind of swings like whack, 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 whack a couple of times and flings you along. You skip a couple of times like a stone along the surface of a lake and uh, slam into a brick like sign announcing the Hernan Maria Hernandez Park. And, uh, you know, there's like a cool, sexy pose of you with your, your shirt slightly ripped and stuff, showing some muscles, <laughs> uh, but also, you know, MCU style blood. So, you know, it's blinking, you miss it, blood, but we're good. Uh, that is, that is what happens, Olivier, as you are down to zero spark. You're, you're at that moment, right? You, you could walk away or you, you know, you could be hurt really, really bad. Uh, 
We cut away from you to Vector arising from the bushes in Vector suit. Yeah. Um, so Vector is <clears throat> mostly here for, what do you say, defense? So I think that essentially what it is, is he's waiting until Rhino is ready to shoot off some more of those uh, things. And um, his, his specialty is deflection. He's called Vector because it's, uh, he literally uses physics to win, if that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it is. I will win so, by physics. Exactly. So uh, essentially, his suit's calculating as he's running through. He's taking direction from it. And, you know, and essentially, he, he sees himself. He's being instructed to run towards those just released uh, you know, uh, what, what did you call them? All of a sudden I can't say the word. Um, the, the things that he's shooting off. Rockets? Little rockets? rockets. Yeah. God, a rocket. I couldn't say it. Okay. So he's running towards like that last little flurry of, of rockets that Rhino is, has sort of popped off in celebration of having knocked, um, Xavier over and, um, just, oh, Olivia. God, my words are gone. I'm sorry. It's okay. No worries. I need more so coffee. Early in the <laughs> and uh, and I, I run in there, and there's a certain point of, like, once I get the steps going, um, he just kicks. But it's like a kick that has a whole force field behind it, or like a, a sort of, like, there's an area to it, and it hits, like, a big group of them right back at Rhino. Oh, neat. That's essentially it. So um, I guess... We can work through that, but it is a B super. I agree. Uh, it can it doesn't be... feel rookie though, right? No, no. It. I think in this way, it's like it doesn't feel rookie. I will agree with you there. So okay. it's two, and I think it's hands. Just sure. because it is more of an attack. You bet. If you it's think it's like yeah, yeah, punching, moving things, grappling. Yeah, that's fine. He's just okay. like pushing Five. them aside, like out of Majut's yeah. uh, kind of deal. All right, I'm into it. All right, and I will add three spark to it. Okay. Uh, so again, the difficulty now was ten. Four successes gained by wild card. So the difficulty is still get as many four, fives, or six as you can. Uh, tension is in effect, but the total threat difficulty is down to a six. Okay. So I'm rolling eight dice again. So that's good. I don't have to put anything. So I got three hits and I got one one. You did, you did. So uh, I, I think he sends out another barrage of rockets to try to f cause further chaos and damage. And Vector, is it a thing where you just move quickly or you just happen to be in the right spot to deflect most of them? Um, I think, I think it looks like he's not going to make it. And then the suit appears like it just flashes there to where it needs to be. Does that make any sense? And again, yeah. it's that thing for Jeff that it's just done something. He doesn't understand it. And it's that moment of being f worn by the suit again, you know, where he manages to do it, but he didn't do it. So then he's like standing there flat footed afterwards. Nice. I like it. So he fires off all of those rockets. Um, Dynamo, Barracuda, I know you guys, uh, well, I know Dynamo's moving in on this, but uh, Dynamo, as you're moving in on Rhino after he just fired this barrage of rockets, there's a uh, movement over you as Hammer Bro leaps over you with his hammer and comes and slams into Rhino. And Dynamo, do you see Rhino like he's learning how to be a jobber so mm -hmm. he kind of rolls with the blow uh when hammer bro comes in and like smashes him down he, boom he skips a couple more times and uh slams into the remnants of the pickleball court right near gordon uh mm -hmm. who's just laying there dramatically um, so dramatic. So dramatic. <laughs> hammer bro like holds up his hammer because as if he's just defeated Rhino, uh, and he's like, "All right, people." 
Uh, what what do you do, Dynamo? Uh, so Rhino is at like uh, what's what's the threat level now for him? Oh, uh, he's at a three, a threat level of three. three. Great. Uh, and is is Hammer Bro like between me and him? Sure. If you want him there, otherwise you could easily circumvent that. That's no problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I think what I'd like to do is come up, uh, like do like a, a running jump and come up with like a, a double hammer boom like that. And just like on, on the back of the neck to uh, hammer bro, like knock the <laughs> shit out. Of, I told, I said I was going to knock the shit out of him. I, <laughs> I've got to. Oh, that's so good. So yeah, like, you're not, not even, even going about, after like, Rhino. You're he's just... like, I know, I know that asshole is just showing. This is the this is the actual threat here. So Hammer Rose getting the punched in the neck. Uh, that sounds amazing. Um, so he is not the total threat difficulty. However, yeah. he is also not facing off with you. So the difficulty here is much. In fact, there's not even there's not even tension in the role. You're just sneaking <laughs> him from behind. Yeah, um, he is tough though. So I think it's a remarkable difficulty to actually knock the shit out of him as mm -hmm. you wish. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So you're being a brick for sure. You're being mm -hmm. super because you, and it sounds like hands. So that's Definitely 10 <laughs> dice right there. You cool. need four successes uh, to harm him or possibly KO him. Um, do you want to spend any spark? Yeah, I'll spend a couple spark. I'll spend two. Okay. 12 dice against a, 12 dice. a challenge rating of four. Let's see That's how this awesome. goes. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, four, thank goodness. Five, I said six is not involved. Yeah. Look at those <laughs> ones. Wow, six successes. Yeah, what does that look like when you literally KO Hammer Bro in one <laughs> shot? Yeah, I mean, I just doing the like, like just dunking on him, just come up behind him, <laughs> um, just like coming out, like just like one, like right in the back of the back of the neck there. Um, his hammer goes flying, uh, yes. and I think I like wind up like not in a not in a like the, the superhero pose, superhero pose, but probably like. He kind of like does a little spin, and I'm just like over him, like straddling, like, like straddling him. <laughs> it just, it's just like, a, call your dog off. I know what you're doing. Nice. Asshole. <laughs> oh, it's Most, perfect. Most uh, not into this at all. <laughs> you're not playing his games. I love it. Barracuda, uh, you just sling ring portaled into. Maria Hernandez Park to see all of this chaos explode. Uh, you recognize members of your erstwhile team, and yeah. for some reason, Dynamo decided to take down a member of Bushwick's best instead of, instead of going after Rhino. Uh, but you do hear her say, "Call off your your dog." Uh, what are you doing, Barracuda? Uh, so I think Barracuda like portals back in, and there's flames behind him, um, <laughs> as there might always be. Um, <laughs> there might always be just as wild card right like lands across this uh this brooklyn rooftop and it is slumped there oh been i've been gone too long wild card my apologies yeah great can you hit the rhino <laughs> oh don't you remember our training, wild card? Pain is the ultimate illusion. And uh, I'm going to lean into this being a bonding scene a little bit. Oh, uh, nice. Like Barracuda. and Bar I think Barracuda has been training, if you're okay with it, Kay. Yeah, yeah. Um, like when you first arrived in Brooklyn, uh, Barracuda maybe took you under his wing a little bit because you're this young kid um, who's got way more power than barracuda could ever possibly control so he's sort of like you know hey we gotta gotta steer this kid in the right direction um so i think we had a, some sort of fight in the back where barracuda uh, in the past you know a, yeah. a, a, a sparring fight 
yeah. where uh, Barracuda bested uh, Wildcard and used the same phrase that pain is the ultimate illusion. Overcome this. Um, so he, uh, he reaches down and, and grabs your arm. Come on. We can't leave it all to the others. I wasn't gonna. <laughs> he just gets like gets pulled up and stands up and sort of shakes it off a little. You can see his his legs are a little wobbly, even though he's like trying not to show it. Vector's redirecting missiles in the background. <laughs> nice. oh. uh, and then as Dynamo punches out um Hammer bro. Hammer bro. Oh, I may have missed more than I thought. Interesting. To be fair, that guy definitely had it coming. I don't know what happened, but he had it coming. Well, I guess we'll understand that all when the mech is gone. Yeah, that'll probably be true. Uh, and Olivia kind of like goes to step toward like the lip of the roof mm -hmm. to just like jump the fuck down <laughs> or like sort of kind of parkour a bit cool you uh so on? let's let's resolve the refresh scene first and uh i'm going to say that you have five spark and that you two have just refreshed together and you get to decide how you divvy up the five spark uh you can take you all have, five I'll yeah go. you have ten yeah You're i'm good, good. Man. <laughs> I don't think you get much higher. Uh yeah, and Olivier sort of like you see he like cracks his shoulders. Thanks, old man. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Dice. Uh that that's great. <laughs> cool. Uh so Olivier, when you and Barracuda have that moment, you feel a little bit better. You, uh, Barracuda helps you back up uh, emotionally as well as physically. And you notice that Rhino, uh, no, one's, no one from your team is currently fighting Rhino. Vector's headed that way. But you see the agile uh, black cat like, leaping from tree to tree and coming down like feet first to try to land on Rhino. What do you do? Uh, did I hear what Dynamo said where she said, call off your dog? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I don't... Olivier's worked in this business long enough... I, I did air quotes that you cannot say. Uh, long enough for him to kind of get this stick and see what's going on and be like oh hell no are they gonna hire someone come out looking good so i think he's gonna parkour parkour get to black cat uh either just as or before she jumps onto him and he's going to touch some bear skin and steal some powers Ooh, ooh! you're gonna steal some powers from black cat that sounds awesome yep i am a fan and she seems to be in like a, a cat suit. So I don't know how much skin exposed. So it could very well be like a cheek cup. Yeah, it's got to be a cheek cup, I think. Cups her cheek. So yeah, he's going to try and do that. Uh, that sounds awesome. She does not want you to do that. So okay. I do think tension is involved in the role. Uh, but luckily, you've, you're coming at her while she's dealing with another thing. So I think this will be a remarkable difficulty. You'll need four successes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think I think this is a pretty wild card action. Seems so, yeah. Uh, definitely super. And then um, maybe either feet, because he's doing some acrobatics. Does that sound good? <laughs> sure. It's also speed related for yeah. feet, so that works. Okay, so seven. And I'll spend uh, one of those new sparky sparks i just got oh i hope you don't lose all the others with this tension filled roll but oh. i'm pulling for you it's an eight listen uh olivier is very much a 
a go for it kind of guy. It's great. I'm I'm a big fan. One, two, three, four, five successes, but he does lose two spark. Oof. Five successes. You touch her cheek, and I don't think this does a this doesn't do a rogue thing of like knocking people out, right? It just is a um, theft of powers because I don't know if we've seen this on screen. Have so it says. It? It says, like his mother, Olivia can absorb powers and memories of anyone through physical skin to skin contact, but unlike her, he has complete conscious control over his power. Interesting. Okay. Maybe we can say it doesn't knock them out, but it maybe it does like me, like mess them up a little or something, maybe. Like it's not full. Sure. Fully to that extent. I can I can I can, buy, I can buy that. That sounds fine. Yeah. Like leaves uh, them sort of uh, yeah, it, I will say that she doesn't come. You you leap through the air, coming as she's diving down to try to do the 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 final blow. <laughs> By the way, new new picture of Barracuda uh, behind flames. Oh yeah, chef's kiss. Uh, <clears throat> so before she's able to do the finishing blow, you jump up, uh, cheek touch, and she falters, slams into the pickleball court right beside Gordon, and you steal her powers. Um, her powers are tychokinesis. Yep. Bad luck powers. Yep. She has the ability to throw bad luck at people. Also, nah. she's an Olympic level athlete, expert thief, skilled martial artist, and uh, uh, claws. So yeah, you know, I have most of those anyway. I know, right? It's just a whole lot of overlap. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's too much in one turn, so let me know if it is. But I would love to. Th- yeet some of those bad luck powers at the rhino i'd like to see how uh vector is going first but that you could definitely be uh oh see someone shared another image yep that's the best that that image is so good mm-hmm. i love barracuda as so wait Marky didn't pick, and then Greg grabbed it and did his background. I just want to make yeah. sure I understood the order that, of events. That's, that's the little girl watching the house birthday game. <laughs> that, that team up is great. Okay. Uh, Vector, you have successfully deflected all of the rockets. You just saw Hammer Bro slam uh, Rhino, and then uh, Dynamo slam Hammer Bro. Black Cat tried to come in for the, the, the coup de gras. Uh, was beaten back by Olivier, and now Rhino is like. There's a moment where he's looking around, like, "Wait, isn't anybody going to finish me off?" Uh, so he's starting to stand back up, and he's cursing and rushing because this is not what he signed up for. W- what do you do? I think this is one of those things where the suit's chosen what he's going to do, and it's like narrowed in on like the controls on the mech suit that that. Um, are in the back and Mm -hmm. it's essentially he runs there he's got like this sort of zoomed in view on exactly what he needs to do and he kind of runs up and he grabs into the suit and pulls out all of the control functions so essentially it's going to freeze rhino in the mech is the idea behind it and so, you're not um, one of the identified uh, people he's supposed to job for, so he's actually going to actively try to keep you from finishing him off. Okay. Uh, but his total threat difficulty is merely at a three. Uh, okay. So let's see it's if he can pull this off. Me. Vector okay. suit. I do think it is, it is the thing is that um, he, it's his suit, is not the rookie, but Jeff is. So Jeff is being worn by his suit. Hooray. Um, <laughs> he, he's super, or at least the suit is. So that's two. And this is, I guess it's, is it hands? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that gives you a three. That's pretty that's good. So Five. Wait, where's yeah. the six? Oh, oh, rookie, because she's doing you. Okay, that's fine. Six, and then I'll do three spark. Okay. Uh, that's nine dice. Good no. Just this could hurt come. a lot. It that. could be hurt me a lot. I don't know. I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yes, it does. Um, but I do hit him handily. I hit him with five. You do. So you yeah. able to reach in uh, and rip out some of the last bits of the control mechanism, 
what is it? Do you think there's the explosion that knocks Victor out? Do you think that, that Rhino is able to extend his arm and hammer fist into Vector, what do you think Knox Vector? Oh, I like that idea that that essentially when he does it, there's still that thing of the whole mech suit locking back into its default position that um, that certainly Jeff wasn't aware of, and he gets knocked like, boom, and he ends up right back behind that same bench where he changed you know, <laughs> from, <laughs> like, but yeah, and and probably blacked out because he's like minus one on his oh, spark. Oh, nasty. Yeah. Sweet. Oh no. Uh, yeah. yeah. Zero zero. There's no negative. You're out. Okay. Or you're out. But that definitely sounds like a, a KO pose. So let's swing back. Olivier, you threw some bad luck. We'll say that you did effectively throw bad luck as Vector uh, was finished off. Uh, yeah. Does that seem fair enough that Olivier? Yeah. Oh yeah. Bad yeah, 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 up but... Rhino and Rhino was, was unable to properly defend himself as vector finished him off. this vector guy really good uh teammate of yours uh he just got knocked out over there by the bench yeah. you doing anything just, about that yes real quick though i think like the bad luck the the spin on it is like vector does that hit and we see him go down but like when we see him go down it's almost like a, a slip and we realize there's a banana peel under his foot <laughs> <laughs> Which is part of why he was off balance enough that Vector could do the hit. <laughs> so great. <laughs> like the, like a, it's like a Donkey Kong size <laughs> in a suit, but it's ridiculous. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I think he sees that happen. Shrugs, that's taken care of, you know, and is going to just like almost in a casual stroll start heading towards where Vector got knocked out. <laughs> like, kind of nonchalant. Nice. Uh, we'll cut away from that back to Dynamo, who just told Hammer Bro after you like knocked him just about the hell out. Call off your dog. He looks over and sees the black cat, Olivier, Vector, one, two, three punch, and Rhino gets taken out. And he's like, oh, you, you assholes did it. Whatever. What was it? Was it Felicia that told me about it, or uh, um, no, that, it was not Felicia. That's that uh, Felicia is not the person. It was, it was Voodoo when you guys went on your it was Zanaya. your things. Right, yeah. yeah, it was Zanaya who, oh, right, who right, kind right, of complained yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah, um, yeah, and I, I just tell him like Zanaya told me everything all about it, and I told her to make sure you didn't do it, and you idiot, you. You endangered the people that you're trying to save in order to make yourself look good, you asshole. And like saying this loudly <laughs> so anyone nearby can hear. He's like, oh, man, I thought you were one of us. And I think Barracuda, you you overhear that. It's Hammer Bros saying, you work for us. Yeah, How Barracuda is slowly walking down the, the street towards Dynamo where, uh, yeah. With hammer bro down. What the hell's your problem? No, we don't work for you. We work for the neighborhood. You work for yourselves or whoever, whatever corporate bullshit has got you on the hook. Oh man, it gets over. He's kind of st starts to sit up if you let him. He's not fighting. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I think I like. Since I'm like astride him, I'll just like push him back with one, one, uh, one booted foot. It's like, <laughs> or no, I got some sneakers on. Yeah. It's like you know, <laughs> this is kind of public. I'm not into public, that kind of thing. So can you just back off, lady? You need to come clean. Nah. And I like give him like a oh, I like push a little bit down on him, but my but my foot also starts like crackling electricity a little bit it's like nice. yeah yeah not nah yeah nice uh, dynamo 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 <laughs> let's not be so mean to noah there you, you, he this is his this is his fault this was his deal he could he could have killed someone listen to the old man Get your foot off me and you noah you you hmm 
I don't know what you're talking about. She's got crazy ideas in her head. She's some crazy, she's a crazy chick. Look at her. Uh, Olivier, you're walking over to Vector, who's very knocked out, and you hear in your mind, uh, it is Megan. Mm -hmm. Olivier, it looks like your team is going to try to beat up a member of my team. I really need you to stop this from happening. For old time's sake, help me out here. You know, he kind of deserves it. Not like this. We're even. From the hair thing. And Olivier just kind of turns about face from where he was going to go to Vector and starts walking over. Dynamo put him down. He's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, get her looking, get her looking back off a little bit. Give him a look. People let's, are gonna... uh, let's talk to Ivan, see what he has to say. Who is Ivan? Yeah, Rich is uh, like, the, wait, who's Ivan? Uh, the the because he, he was talking Russian. I don't know who. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got. Oh, you. oh, okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, got you now. Good. Yeah, and All I think right, as awesome. Dynamo turns, Olivier's gonna. Uh, he hates this. But he's going to speak in Noah's mind. Uh, get out of here now while her back is turned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is that is what he will he will do if given the chance to bug out. He will grab his hammer and bug the hell out. So I think, Vector, you are woken by uh, the sound of, of a purring? As um, I think Mr. Muffin has found you. And it's just, yeah, I think like, I'm suffocating at first, but it's yeah. just Mr. Muffin on my chest. Yeah, It's just but... Mr. Muffin on your chest staring at you <laughs> and purring. Try to wake you up. Um, yeah, you're still at zero spark, but but yeah, you're in um, you're in your suit. How do you plan on dealing with that? There are people who are coming back, like a lot of cameras and and filming and the like. This is very risky for you. <laughs> like, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. They they already have cameras on me? Uh, they're on the area. Okay. You're still laying right. by a bench and, and someone's probably going to come your way any moment now. I'm just curious how you want to. I'm going to that. try to convince the suit to unsuit. Does that make any sense? So I just look like a dude laying here on, on the grass. I'm okay. But okay. I'm just going to try to, but I don't really have con good control over it. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, then let's put it to a roll. This could knock you out uh, and, and Again. <laughs> be out for a while. Uh, you're definitely being a rookie. It seems like the normal thing. You're begging to be normal. Uh, we will call this a difficulty of, I don't know, how hard is your suit on powering down? Is it a good difficulty or remarkable? I don't know. I'm, I'm Jeff. Um, you know, <laughs> it, like, usually the suit decides, so I don't know. Um, oh, well, then just uh, if the suit decides, then Rich will decide with a D6, and that'll be your difficulty. Okay, that sounds reasonable. All right, it is It is merely a, good, a typical difficulty. It sees that there are no active threats at the, at the moment. All right, so I have, what, rookie, mm -hmm. be normal, mm -hmm. and probably head or heart? I don't know. Ooh, I like mm -hmm. heart. I like okay. heart. That sounds fun. Compassion. All right. So seven. Seven right. dice against the difficulty of two. He's surely going to get out of the suit now. I'm sure it'll be right. fine. I'm wow. Anyway. Exactly two. Exactly two. Oh my goodness. But no one. So if it had been a stress thing, it would be okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you de suit with, uh, Mr. Muffin still upon your chest. And uh, we will cut to Olivier. Are you going with Dynamo, Dynamo 
uh, and Barracuda over to talk to Rhino in his ruined mech suit? I don't think so. Okay. I think uh, he watches as Noah leaves and then does a, a super cool lean against a brick wall and is waiting for uh, someone to reach out. Yeah. Maybe a good boy. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. So Dynamo, Barracuda, the two of you walk over to Stunt Casted Rhino, Alexi Sitevich, I think. Sitevich, I think. I'm not I'm not great at that. Sitevich. Sitevich, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh he's already like he's pulling the remnants of the suit off of him and starting to stand up. He's very, very out of it. Uh what your job's over. You all oh, wait for cops. It's fine. It's... I, I kind of like lean and put like my arm around his shoulder and like help him up a little bit. Like, look, pal, we don't know who you are, but Noah, a ha- hammer guy, is the one that hired you, right, to do this job? <laughs> you think I'm stupid? I... Yeah. Oh. Well, that's not appropriate. Did he not tell you there were other supers in the area looking out for people? No, I did not know other superheroes around. Sounds like he set you up then. We're not talking to you. Who waits for police? How about him? I'm sorry, what did you just say? How about him, Barracuda? Oh, yeah. What does Barracuda do or say? Uh, so I think Barracuda... Um, <laughs> Noah's already fleeing, right? Um, yeah. But he didn't see him. So I think Barracuda might be doing an illusion of being Hammer Bro. <laughs> nice. That is amazing. Um, okay. Alexi. Alexi. Yeah. Come quickly. Quick. I, I just got my ass beat. So I'm not uh, moving too quickly. What? We have to get out of here. Okay. Okay, we go. Screw you, lady. <laughs> And he's got to try to jog tiredly as we hear police sirens uh, coming because someone just attacked Maria Hernandez Park um, with rockets <clears throat> and a mech suit. Uh, what is the plan? I, I want to lead. I want to lead him to the cops. That's what I'm trying to. Do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Easily done. <laughs> oh, that we're getting out of here. Oh man, I hope the lawyers are good as you say. Don't worry, Alexi. It's gonna be fine. And the cops are like looking at Barracuda like some old man. It's like what the Cool. Uh yeah, they're gonna go out, grab him and do the like slam you into the front hood of the police car thing and read him his rights and cuff him because uh they've already gotten notification that this was the rhino. Uh so yeah. So I'm I... gonna try to like I wanna like talk him into giving up like what was what was the on the way there mm-hmm. like try to side chat figure out how we were going to like pay him off how, how the how the brooklyn's best were going to pay him off okay or okay. this that sounds good uh let's have you, you i think tension is involved here because the cops are on their way right um, it's only a good difficulty because you used your illusion very very craftily here. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing this is, oh gosh, this is being super because it's an illusion. Yeah. Uh, but it's jaw, so that's good. Uh, four plus five for my power. Yeah, exactly. I no, oh, your power gives two. Your power gives you two dice. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. So that was 
four, five, six. I guess a difficulty of two or three? Three. I'll throw two dice at it then. Uh, to roll eight. Okay. Whoa, two tension. One, two, three, four, five, six, though. Okay, so you lost two, two spark, spark, but a lots of successes. He says, okay, like you say, lawyer's good. I'm going to be fine. Extradition to Canada. The other half I get in crypto, right? Crypto? I hear it's really good. Of course. Of course. All right. We'll make arrangements. Good. Okay. It's good, you know. My cousin, she needs surgery, so. (laughs) And then the cops arrive. (laughs) And they grab him and they slam him into the hood and arrest him and drag him off. Nice. (laughs) Cool. Jeff Jeff gets a really good picture of uh, Olivier, you know, leaning cool against the the thing they're watching it all go down at the end so can i uh, suggest something rich yes so olivia gets powers but he also gets memories what if he's leaning against the wall and he gets sucked into like a black cat memory oh man oh 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 good let's see why is a black cat memory yeah i think you get a couple of memories the first memory you get is hammer bro approaching felicia about his really cool idea about taking out rhino and how to up their curating and her not being not being entirely sure she's not going to throw any money but she'll be there to give him an assist it's one of those where he's sticking his neck out and she might reach in and snatch some of the reward which is exactly what she was trying to do um and i think yeah, you get the you get the memory of Hammerbro going. Um, yeah, let's just keep this between me and you, okay? Like this is going to work really well, and it'll help the whole team. But Megan's not into it. I already mentioned it to her, and she said it was stupid, and she's stupid, right? And so she's like, I wouldn't say that, but okay. Uh, yeah. Olivia is going to just project that out to Megan and say, uh, "This is what happens when you corporatize your team." No, it's what happens when you hire idiots. Either way, you're kind of guilty of it. Uh, um, no. Go home, Megan. I am home. I didn't go out to this stupid thing. I didn't know it was happening until it was happening. No, I mean, go back to the X-Mansion. Will you go back to the X mention, Olivier? No, I left for a reason. I obviously left for a reason too, and I seem to be doing a lot better than you, person who works at a coffee shop and has to pay his own way through college and has no love life and has to call on his sister to get curses removed. Not that I'm keeping track of what's going on with you, but I think you're doing worse than I am. At least I'm doing it on my own and not with mommy's money or Xavier's money. It's just money. It's a medium of exchange. Gods, don't judge me. I'm judging you. I'm cutting this off. (laughs) Yeah, and at that point, I think, yeah, he sort of leaves the stoop to kind of go over. Well, he doesn't recognize Jeff. Uh, It's true. Jeff's just that guy who's always around. Just that guy, so he's going over towards Dynamo and Barracuda, and he's like... uh, Barracuda, Dynamo's mom has your uh oh grandma sorry has uh your cat. I was walking her when this kind of happened. Oh, oh. What what well, what happened? Why why did Skippy need need to leave? What, oh, your place did... got trashed. Jeff, you can join in on this combo whenever you want. Barracuda's about to lean in. Oh. Jeff. 
I think yeah, I think Jeff will um, walk up and go, ah, I uploaded one of your pictures, you know, and he goes, ah, it's getting a lot of hits already. <laughs> Wait, saying, what mine? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you were pretty cool out there. I pull out my phone and look at the thing. Yeah, you see it. It's up. It's posted. Seems kind of cool. Are there any comments from people I know? Oh, man, that's a great question. Uh, I think there is a comment from... There's a comment from uh, S. Guthrie that says, uh, way to go. Great job. Uh, for you, this might be helpful. Uh, but yeah, I think he sees that and is like, thanks, Jeff. Yeah. <clears throat> See if I can make use of this on the fundraiser. Sort of starts to wander away and says, Oh, I got new locks put on the bodega. How long was I gone? Yeah, you were gone for like a day and a half, I think, or two. Was it two days? Two days. A lot happened. Oh. Yeah, they totally wrecked your hostess stand. The the villains did that. <laughs> the villains. <laughs> but we okay. took care. Okay. Well, see what the damage was, I guess. But yeah, Skippy's been staying at mine and the coffee shop and going for walkies or whatever. Oh no, Skippy stays inside. What? Oh, oh, oh. She's kind of used to walkies now. Uh, cool. I th I'll give you another key to add to your key ring, Barracuda. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> Feels what like you a... doing out over here, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear this conversation. Yeah. Jeff, what, what, what are you doing in the park so late? And I sort of go, oh, I was taking pictures of cats and dogs for the cat refuge. Yep, we're doing the fundraiser, you know. I put a cup by your register. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, but, Jeff, Jeff, this, 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 this cat thing, uh, uh, you need to give me rent. <laughs> it's a, this, well, this, it doesn't provide you a lot of money you need to fix the wa hot water heater remember i said you fix the wa hot water heater pay your rent i got it all in escrow from what i hear my hostess stand is broken i have to pay for that i have to pay for hot water heater i have to <laughs> yes yes you do <laughs> My oh, rent. My, 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 I need my rent. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I will fix. I will fix the hot water heater in the morning, and and I will figure out what to do at the store. That's great. Uh, we're at the halfway point. That feels like a really good like cut to commercial scene. So let's do that. Welcome back. Uh, so I'm going to make space for folks in Aftermath if they have any scenes, catch up, anything you want to do, and then we're going to do a new block roll. But for now, this is me making space. So any, does anyone have any follow-up scenes or wrap-up scenes that they need to take care of? Good. I would actually like to do uh, repairing of the, the hot water heater. Um, As a refresh scene? And, and possibly frame it as a as a, a charity, <laughs> or <something. laughs> to help yourself. It's, it's great. <laughs> or let me think. hold on. Um, I mean, it's neighborhood upkeep, right? It's, yep, it is. It's yeah. neighborhood upkeep. It's chair. I, I I think it is charity work. I don't think Barracuda actually is expecting Jeff to provide. 
rent. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so you slap that um, Bushwick, Bushwick, for, Bushwick for Us um, thing, which is a well-known, you know, utilities payment thing, a sticker on the whole situation, that kind of thing. That's what you're going to do. I love that. Yeah, so it's just a, a knock at the door in the morning. Jeff. Okay. Jeff. Um, and he's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, and, and essentially, he, he has to come through the kitchen, of which there's not very much room between this kitchen counter and the couch and then the TV and, you know, there's just, and, and so he's sliding sideways over. There's just room to open the door. He's like, oh, finally. And then very clumsily tries to get out of your way so you can come in. And uh, <laughs> he gets in and uh, has to scoot. Uh, does does Mr. Muffin escape out the front door to go harass <laughs> Skippy? Or, or does he stay inside? Is it like morning sunbeam time? Ooh, yeah, I do think this is sunbeam time, right? So okay. you also have to go around... Just I, have to, I can't move him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They have oh. infinite gravity. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Mr. Muffin. Sorry. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Jeff, there's a lot of stuff in here. I guess, no, there's not a lot of stuff. There's just not much here. I mean, there's no here here. Well, what I make you pay me is, is there's a lot of stuff here. It's very reasonable. It's very reasonable. Thank you, sir. All right, all right. You want some coffee? I thought you said you had no hot water. <laughs> and he goes, I have a pint of <laughs> hot water at a time. Would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, Italian roast. All right. I will know the difference. <laughs> and and at this point, uh, Barracuda takes out his like his little toolbox, and you see that it's full of uh, both like really aged grandpa tools, and also like multi-dimensional like weird devices um, that like blow and turn on their own, and they're obviously not for fixing a hot water heater, but those are at the bottom of the toolbox. It's just the camera sees it, yeah. Yeah, you can hear the grinder going. It's very loud. So. Oh, 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 oh. Hides one underneath. Takes out. Looks at the hot water heater. The pilot light is out. Jeff, have you had, heard, had any strange smells? No. Oh, and the gas is bad. All right. <laughs> Makes some adjustments. Lights the pilot light. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... I might have to pay the gas bill. I think there might have been a... Okay. Um, puts the toolbox together, and we I think we sit and, and drink the coffee. It is not Italian roast, is my guess. It's... It probably was. It's elderly. Ah, you know, okay. like, you get the bottom... Bottom two tablespoons of... Of an old bag of Italian roast. From your uh, bodega. So... <laughs> Yes, from the bodega, of course. Um, oh, this is good. This is good coffee. This is very good. I have uh, mad skills. And he sort of stops. He's making himself his own cup, you know, because one of those one cup at a time things. Oh, I know you've been working on this, um, this social media mm -hmm. for this, this, this animal rescue. Yeah, for the Bushel you, Cat Refuge. Do you keeping the cats here? Is it points over at Mr. Muffins up for adoption? Oh, oh no, not Mr. Muffin. Okay. Terms of the lease: you can only have the one cat. So, just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. This place isn't the cat. No, no. Okay. Just Mr. Muffin. Oh, okay. Okay. And um. Do you have, like do you pull up the the website to show Barracuda? Oh yeah, but on his little dumb flip phone, you know he's like yeah here. 
So <laughs> he'll pass you his phone while he's drinking uh, coffee. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. You, you move it this way. <laughs> so, do, does Barracuda see like because you're also like pulling crime statistics, right? Isn't that that what Jeff is always doing? Is uh, he's pull, yeah, uh, pulling crime. Um, yeah, he's always pulling that kind of information, uh, where people are gathering, uh, that kind of stuff to kind of keep track of what's going on. Yeah, I think Barracuda like is he, he's a, a Mavolio is is older enough that like he doesn't know not to swipe on your phone, right? <laughs> Um, so he starts going through and is like, well, what's, what's this, Jeff? It's, oh, oh, it's just a, an app that looks at Google Maps, comes back with uh, additional information. You know. Are these cats? He's pointing at all these big pins. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, mostly cats. And I think at this point, my volume is kind of playing dumb. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's like cats uh, and Bushwick. And I, I think the most recent one has like the uh, the park we were just fighting Rhino at with the pin. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see. You were tracking Mr. Muffin. And he goes, "Oh no, it was an event. That was that's a different yeah, that's a different data set." And he kind of pulls it up and then like swipes it away real fast ah. well thank you for the coffee oh no problem um what does the suit look like when it's not the suit is it like is it like part of like is it like iron man just like explodes out of you or yeah except that it's more like it looks like um what do you say like a nerdy Apple Watch that has no face on it. It's got that kind of big clunky look to it in some ways. Okay. Um, except that it's like all that coppery color. So it looks like an off-brand Apple Watch almost. Mm, okay. And I think uh, I think as as Barracuda like moves his tool, picks up his toolbox. He notices that as it like gets close to you, something whirs and spins and lights up. Okay. And um, I think probably the suit does too. And, yeah, uh, yeah, your watch responds a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, like like a like it lights up, it starts to light up and glow a little. And he's like, oh, weird. Oh. Yeah. You get, you get cat notifications on your watch? Yeah, sometimes. Um, <laughs> sort of takes a, a, a step back, like actually uh, uh, tips over so that he's on the couch instead and says, here, here you could, and uh, is checking his watch to try to figure out what's going on. What's, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be downstairs. And then, yeah, uh... yeah. So were the locks okay? I, it, I tried to get ones that look the same sort. They said, oh, and the bill is next to the cash register. Bill? The bill? Well, I'll send that up to you. No, I... <laughs> uh, and he goes, yeah. Anyway, um, they want to get paid. I don't know what they do if they don't get paid for their lock work. Uh, maybe come back and take them, so... Uh, 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 this morning, and they very good. <laughs> so I just go back down, you know, my boy goes back downstairs and is like, face with what what does the what does the uh Bottega actually look like how bad is the damage actually it wasn't that bad we caught them okay. before they got in that far they tipped over the hostess thing we we uh put it back up it is the hostess is like, on one side there were hostess. there were twinkies everywhere yeah but jeff worked diligently to clean up the mess exactly. okay so yeah i get the boy goes back to mopping and, and looks at the bill and, ah, oh, okay, it's not that much. <laughs> All right. Uh, five for the refresh? Yes. Yes, I made my life easier in the Swoop Gangs game, yes. and I'm carrying that over oh, to hit the streets. Right. Now, bonding is always five uh, oh, cool. because it's it's not even. And it means there's a little negotiation. I stole it from the idea. I stole the idea from uh, Night Witches. I'll oh, take one idea. if you're good like, with that, Sherry. 
Okay. You, three harm and one of it could possibly kill one of you. How do you divide it? <laughs> yeah, I thought, oh, that's that's great. Let me do that with this. Nice. But it's a reward instead of a punishment. And it's between two PCs, so, you know, it could be problematic. But it hasn't been yet. Cool. That yeah, works great. Okay. Uh, what about Olivier? Do you have any follow-up uh, aftermath scenes that you want to take care of before we move into the new series? I think I'd like to do a scene with Olivier. Oh, um, yeah, I would. Maybe love if we're patrolling, <gasps> the, the two of us are the ones that jumped the um, the, the supers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it might be fun to do a patrol and kind of talk about talk about what's going on with us. Nice. If that's okay with you. Yeah, sounds good to me. Awesome. Patrolling the neighborhood is a way to restore spark. You roll B super plus heart. Uh, every success gains you a point of success, uh, of spark. You said heart? Correct. B super plus Yikes. heart. Uh-oh, <laughs> you're heartless. He is. Yeah. He has heart issues. <laughs> You're pretty good at super, though. Four dice? Four dice. It's not a tension. Otherwise, that'd be a death spiral. A spiral. And I'll roll a d6. Okay, so, to... so two. Yeah, there you go. And uh, what is it that you guys are dealing with? Oh, oh man, there's a street fight. That's my nice. neighborhood patrol table. There's a street fight. Oh, um, yeah. I think it is a fight. Tell me if this is just doesn't work with your vibe. I think this it's some like Bushwick's best stands and some more like ingrown neighborhood people trying to tell them to get out and mm -hmm. it escalates a little bit. Oh, yeah. But go ahead and frame up the scene, Mark. It was your idea. How do you imagine this going with between Dynamo and Olivier? Yeah. Uh, so I, how am I thinking? Um, how, how like, uh, walking the streets versus jumping across rooftops is Olivier. Honestly, he's either or. Uh, mm -hmm. It depends on his mood. It depends on if you can keep up with him. Ooh. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I think it might be fun just to be like like going for a, a brisk stroll to kind yeah. of blow off, blow off whatever steam we got. You know, and, uh, brisk see stroll is good. Going. Yeah. Hands in pockets, you know the vibe. Yeah. Um, and I think Dynamo is kind of just unloading about like you know, they told me this was the plan. I told them to do it. They did it. The you know they were playing dumb. The, the everything you know I I lost my my cool and just whomped that guy and didn't really get anything out of it except for I don't know looking bad maybe uh, I don't know if it um, makes you feel better. Uh, I reported them to their leader, so there's some consequence for that, probably. Their leader? Mm. Oh. Well, that's good, I guess. I just... Noah's just so... Stupid? Inf infuriating combination of dumb and confident. It's... Yeah, like there's a lot of that in this world. I thought... What'd you think? I don't know. I thought I could... Please don't say fix I... him. Not fix... Oh, God. No, no, no. I thought I could at least convince them not to be idiots like that. But I don't think there's any convincing... There's just you can't get blood mitigating. From yeah, he's got like whatever damage control. If we should be. I, I think this is where we like see some ruckus starting on. Like we should be making sure the neighborhood is safe instead of defending it from the people who are also supposed to be keeping it safe. Uh, and I think that's when you guys hear Spiker, Sparky scream out, "Keep it, Wiki!" <laughs> oh god uh, before she shoves <laughs> one of the Bushwick best fanboys down I think we're going to be doing just that 
Dynamo. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah, I, I think like rolling up on them is not a, like a show of force necessarily. It's just again, like the stroll up and maybe like pick, picking a guy up and be like, "Come on, <laughs> this is yeah, yeah." You don't have to the the, yeah. the, the rolls are done. You yeah, did yeah, that. yeah. Um, just like the 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 way it's it's kind of handled is not like we're not going in hard or I'm not going in hard anyway. Um, yeah, Olivier's kind of hands like, are in his pockets. He's he looks a vibe, you know. Yeah, and maybe if like someone someone tries to shove me and like it's like shoving a, a brick wall and like just give him a little push, not like very very gentle, but enough to send him send him on the butt. Um, it's like this is not this isn't the way we do things here. Y'all know that, right? Nah, tell them to get out. Tell them to get out. Hey, they can go to Brook. They can go other places in Brooklyn, whatever they want. These stupid fanboys, they need to get out of here. We're done with Bushwick's best. Uh, do, do they live here, or are they like yeah, coming in for? Yeah, I think yeah, there's some they... locals, and there are actually some other Bushwick folks who happen to just caught on the hype train. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, look, some some of us were born here. So some of our parents or grandparents were born here. But everyone was here, new at some point, right? And like, give, given, given the uh, the Bushwick's best fanboys like a hard look, and saying like, anyone can come here and be a part of Bushwick, but you gotta act that way. It's not about where you live; it's where you're from. Catching me? Yeah, that you guys are able to talk them down and they, and they gripe a little bit. They're like, oh, they were helping too. You're the one who punched it. Oh. And they'll, they'll head off and you're able to diffuse the situation. And they, the two groups go their separate ways begrudgingly. There's still some, there's some dissent in, uh, in Bushwick though, between, Who's right and who's wrong? One of the best way to protect the the neighborhood. You good with that scene? Is there anything yeah. more you wanted from it? I want Olivia to pose just one question yeah. to the Dynamo. Yeah. Hey, earlier before you you said something. When were you talking to Hammerbro to know that this was a plan he had and to tell him you thought it was stupid? It wasn't Hammerbro. It was when I was hanging out with Zanaya. Uh, Why are we uh, hanging out with Zanaya? Uh, I was... I did a little job with them. Not like a super thing. Just like a sales call. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? They're they're peddling their diamond deluxe platinum plan or whatever. I mean, it kind of sounds like they're shaking for people down for protection, but I don't if think... it walks like a duck and talks like a duck. Yeah. Anyways, and I said that if there was an actual threat to the neighborhood, it would be easier to sell that. That's what what Noah said, but she she wasn't into it. Do you did protection money shakedowns with Bushwick's best? It wasn't a shakedown. It was just like showing them their brochures and saying, you know, we'll show up for a bit. It was at that club. Um, I forget which club it was, but uh, yeah, it was like it's you know they'll show up and do meet and greets, and it's not protection. They're just they're more like influencer personalities and actual superheroes it feels like so you know what if they want to make idiots out of themselves i'm happy to do. be an idiot with them yeah i guess so you may want to reflect on that choice a little there share and he's just going to walk away from her yeah that's fair nice and i think <laughs> uh the, a couple of, of tag scenes, uh, Olivier, or not tag scenes, but little tags to that. Olivier, you get a text from your sister 
heard you got your hair back. Um, that's it. <laughs> she just, you know, was keeping track and making sure you got yeah. your hair back. Yeah, and you get just the thumbs up emoji sent back to her. And then I think there's a text to Dynamo from Megan saying, um, I'm looking for a brick. We seem to have an opening. And, uh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a bro. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I think the like eyebrow raise emoji gets sent back and then the phone gets turned off. <laughs> nice. Cool. Uh, that was great. And, and, and you guys rolled. So you got some, uh, bonding back there we got some refresh it seems like everybody's got some spark now yeah 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 people aren't great but they're not too bad off cool i'm gonna share screens and we're gonna roll some new stuff so we have um a total of five and i still have a, a loose idea of advancement for neighborhood or and by loose i mean I want it to happen. I just haven't figured out how to codify it. I was imagining something like project clocks that would achieve more dice, but where do I make space for that in the game? Something that's still bounding or bending around in my head. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll 66. Uh, who would like to roll 6d6? Um, if you're wondering, well, wait, where, where am I rolling it? It is, if you go to our safety and roller, the link for block roll table on row 16 as a link out to this and you can roll the 66 now remember don't try to click on this and move the dice because it won't work because i'm sharing a screen <laughs> sorry i've done that so many times uh who wants to volunteer to roll 66 oh man i'm gonna roll a d4 then all right, here's the D4, and it's uh, Barracuda, Dynamo, Vector, and Livier. Here comes the die roll. All right, it's you, Barracuda. You get to roll right. 6D6. You can just go up here and type 66 if you want and hit enter, and then these dice will pop in. 6D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You did 76. How did that happen? Uh, I have no oh, idea. I think I did it. I think oh, I did okay. the first one that there. That 3 so. doesn't count. Yeah, three doesn't count. It's not a thing. All right. Uh, you were the first to roll. We're just going to go in order as I see it. So it's going to go. I'll type this in chat. It goes like this. So um, it's going to go Dynamo. Then it's going to go Vector. Then a Wild Card. Then Barracuda. So Dynamo, you get to assign the first die. What do you want to move and where? Yes, we will have one left over. Are you talking on mute, Mark? Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making thinking sounds. Mm. Ooh, uh, uh. <laughs> um. How do folks feel? And this is a I'm 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 at like a 50-50 on this. How do folks feel about putting a five on lit? Or a, oh no, never mind. That, that's that I was doing it backwards. Um Yeah, this is actually overall a really yeah, that's great good. role. Yeah. Um but anyone who wants to snag this one and throw it into one of the things, they certainly can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna snag the one and put it in ledger. I was wondering who'd be the first to yeah. be a drama llama. I love it. That's Local me. Local government has new ordinances coming that threaten the nightlife. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, Greg, you were our scribe before on Team Gin, so I made oh. a space for Block Table Results Series 2. If you want to snag that, that'd be awesome. If not, I'll circle back around later. Sure. Okay. Good. Uh, Okay, so uh, that is our first hit, and the next person to go is Vector. So, Vector, it's all good stuff all the time. Where do you want to put the most good or the least good or the medium goods? Are you talking on mute, Sherry? <laughs> I 
Are you still talking on mute? I think you are. There, finally found it. Yeah. Um, that screen share completely disorients me. So Sorry. There we go. No, that's that is okay. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that four. We need a little bit of possible excitement, so I will probably um, move that over to crime so that there's something to do. Crime only happens to the unwary. the unwary. But there's so many unwary people. It's true. So true. I love it. Good. Uh, then next up is Olivier. Yeah, I'm going to take that six. And we're going to put it in outdoors. There's an outdoor festival. Oh, that's great. We'll just jump right to the, the festival is happening. That is what we'll pick up with because we had a lot of lead up to it. That's awesome. Uh, great. And then we circle back around to Barracuda. Uh, you have a five. Where do you want to put the fives? I have a five. <laughs> I, I, there's no choice which here. Which five do I want? <laughs> yeah, which um, five do you want to put in what two places? So I'm just looking at where we were previously. Um, pa, 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 pa. Oh, okay. Five on business is awesome. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, so I think it only makes sense that the school fundraiser was very successful. And now there is a new charter school. <laughs> what? That's the worst. It's um, a new school fundraiser, so of course there's a charter school. Charter school. Yeah, yeah. There, there's obviously there's money to be had here. They had that new all that fundraising. So now there's a now there's private interests in in uh, in education have come in. Um, I want to just point out that it would be really fun if the outdoor festival was coming up against the new local ordinances. It's a night festival. And there's a lot of conflict there. Nice. That's a really good suggestion. Uh, and then um, Dynamo, do you want to put this five in business or do you want to put this five in business? Mm, uh, um, I think the first one. Okay. Yeah. I think this is the first one I offered. So there we go. New storefront opened by a vocal supporter of the team. Locals are placing wagers on how soon it will go out of business. Oh man, that was one that was a suggestion from uh, from Sherry, and I am so here for it. So I am curious. Let's talk this out. Who do we think is? Uh, and we can create. A, oh, we have a picture of Grandma Lola. I I did yeah. not see that. That's awesome. Who do we want to consider a vocal supporter of the team? And if we want to create someone new, that's a okay. We don't have a whole lot of vocal supporters of the team quite yet, so we may have to manufacture a vocal supporter of the team. Yeah. Mm. Or do we to want to start it. with a business? That's hard. It's so hard. It's so much. So who who is a <laughs> how, good how supporter of our team? I have an idea that's terrible. Yeah, I have a really dumb idea too. Oh, uh, I want to hear both. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I misspelled Barracuda. Jungle I called you together. I called you Barracute, didn't I? Sorry for the typo. Uh, honestly, you were just speaking facts there, Rich. Bear, <laughs> Bear adorable. Anyway, uh, Mark, what is your terrible idea? My dumb idea is a, a comic book store <gasps> that has opened up. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And then, Kay, what is your bad idea? Uh, I'll say my bad idea can also work well with Marx because uh, what if it is opened by a X-Men adjacent individual or another super in town who's trying to be like supportive of Olivier's like independence, but is showing up and being there. And that's not part of supporting my independence. <laughs> Stopping by and, and bringing me things and or or trying to give me money is not that. That's this comic shop. Do you want to be manager with a hundred thousand dollars salary <laughs> a year? <laughs> okay, Kate, should, should I lean in hard and say that this is Warren Worthington? <laughs> Uh, you can do Warren if you want to bring in any of the Fantastic Four because I know you see them there and they would know me. Um, I'm happy with any of those. Uh, oh my you. god, Johnny Storm running a comic book store on the side <gasps> sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's go Johnny Storm. Oh man. Uh, I hope people enjoy the fan casting I did for Johnny Storm. I um, love it. It's great. He's and... wonderful. Outer Banks is a fantastic show. I need to watch it at some point. Oh. I really do. Cool. 
So let's talk about things. We have a new storefront. It's going to be a comics store. I think it's it's like one of those. It's not just a comic book store because Johnny yeah. Storm. So it's got to be like, is it a comic book store and cafe? Is it a comic book store and playhouse? Like it's it's two things that have mashed together that probably don't work escape together. Escape room. <gasps> a comic book store escape room. That's pretty cool. Yes. Oh God! And uh, our does our team have a name? I don't think we do. <sighs> Oh, probably the Bushel Originals. Um, kind of <laughs> like not something we chose ourselves, but it's just what they, yeah. It's what they call us. Mm -hmm. uh, so the escape room, I think you're you you play as a uh, a member of the Bushwick Originals, mm. and it's like meant to be supportive of our team and like make us like you know look great. And Olivia is just like my skin is crawling. <laughs> <laughs> love it someone went in and changed the team gin to say bushwick originals and i appreciate that oh that's so good okay so so i think do we do we call it escape reality is that the name of the comic book store slash escape room that's great that's fantastic what well, is it actually kind of like one of those super training rooms too that like you know what I mean? Like they've dropped all that tech in there because they're. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Cool. Uh, so some days have passed, but not too much time because we're going to lean into the festival, the Bushwick festival uh, that is ongoing. And the, what do we think is the neighborhood politician? Is it a selectman? I don't know how Bushwick government or how, Borough's government works for local. In, in Chicago, they're aldermen. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Sound googling going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the New York City Board of Aldermen. Yeah. Yeah. So go with an alderman. Yeah, I think the alderman has decided that there's a new ordinance coming. Um, oh, how is it? All right, so let's each come up with different ordinances. I like this, if you don't mind, a little collaborative, like really bad laws that maybe not all of them happen, but they're they're coming. Um, and from our alderman, who I'm just going to grab a couple of names. Um, someone Gutierrez. Uh Caroline. Caroline Gutierrez. I love that. The Alderman. She ran on a, a like, keep the city streets safe. Uh, it was a spot election for someone that was, uh, I don't know, Sherry, what do you think? Did they die or were they arrested or? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, I like the idea that uh, that gosh, um, I like the idea that they they retired all of a sudden after. Uh, essentially, it was one of those things where they they do a speech and said that they they've just re. Um, reconsidered their priorities and they want to spend more time with their family. their family yes you know that kind of thing where you know something has gone down and they've been given the grace to step away there you go so no one knows what went down that's great uh so caroline caroline gutierrez is the new alderman she's come in hot and heavy on a keep our streets safe. She rode hard all of the Maria Hernandez park thing. Uh, and, and that's like, I think maybe she's even gone on like unlicensed superheroes are a bad mm -hmm. thing. So just to, to see that. So I'm, I'm going to lean on, uh, I'm going to lean on Greg to be the first one to come up with a possible ordinance that's, that's coming or in place. Um, I'm just looking at the. Oh. 
Um, so it has to do. Uh, so um, it, it's a it's a. Oh my god. Uh, where you have to be home uh, at oh, night early. Oh, like a <laughs> curfew. Yeah. Curfew, thank you. This whole thing, it's it's Sherry and I forgetting words. I know. Um, <laughs> it's Sunday morning. So man. it's a it's a curfew about um public school children, not charter school children. Oh! Um Oof. and it is something about like that the charter school is obviously like in her pocket. Um but yeah, yeah, public school is <laughs> being um the there's longer hours for public school and then they have to go immediately home so this like this festival for to celebrate bushwick like it's normally like at least halfway for the children and they're not going to be able the public school children are not going to be able to attend oh my god <laughs> yes it would absolutely go to the supreme court for something but it hasn't happened yet so by the time it goes to the supreme court the the festival is over so <laughs> oh that's amazing Wow. True mm. evil. That is super evil. Mark, what is another ordinance that uh that Caroline Gutierrez is trying to put on the books? I think along with that is a noise ordinance um with a ridiculously early cutoff, like no nothing over X decibels after 7 30 p.m. or something. So if there was a band or <laughs> MC Brace is like, oh, yeah, MC Brace is like, play at eight. Oh yeah. Oh man. Cool. Uh, Sherry or Kay, who would like to go next? Uh, I think there is a. Oof. So she's coming in. I think she has, I don't know if it's coming through yet or if it's something she's known that she's vocalized working on, Uh, but she calls it uh, a block unification program. But essentially the point of it is to paint everything the same color. (gasps) So that it's all like modeled looking units, uh, which would therefore raise home prices according to her. And oh, give, and get give rid of all their value to, and give value to locals in their property. Oh my lord. That is oh, that is the worst. I I so love she's it. Going to suburbanize Bushwick. Yep. And raise property values and make it a much better place to raise your family with charter schools your kids can go to, safe curfews. Low noises. What next, Ahoa? So, get <laughs> away. And that's kind of what's yeah. Oh man! Everyone has to have their garbage cans in. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <sighs> Woo! <This laughs> Which is, is like true evil, as so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, Bushwick would never be the same with if give us Doctor paid... Doom anytime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sherry, what about you? What's another ordinance that uh, is is coming? It, it's, um, I think that it's that you can't cut across uh, boundaries. You can only go through designated entrances and exits. So you can't cut across parking lots or whatever, and you got to go in through the entrance and stuff like that. And that's, uh, you can be fined for that. It's like property jaywalking. <laughs> Oh, that's going to kill your patrols. That's amazing. (laughs) Oh, these are great. All of you have come up with some horrific ordinances that make, kind of make a little bit of sense as a (laughs) a thing that could be. I think I'm going to put uh, Caroline in our antagonists area. (laughs) Sounds good. Yeah. Sold out, man. Caroline Gutierrez. There we go. Uh, Caroline. Oh, what's um, what's Caroline's birth like? Her her maiden name. 
She does oh. look Latina. Oh, is it like Parker or something? And she like oh, yeah. married married into the neighborhood kind of. I like it. Parker. She's from Long Island. Yeah. Or Connecticut. She's from Connecticut. Oh, <laughs> we're true evil. Actually, everyone I know from Connecticut is very nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's Carolyn Gutierrez. She's in our antagonists. Uh, maiden name Carolyn Parker. Her power is the power of gentrification. I, love, I wrote down a bunch of stuff and it was replaced with from Connecticut. That's, that's all. <laughs> I mean, that basically is the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a five paragraph evil write up, or you could just be from Connecticut. That sounds fantastic. Cool. Um, all right. So we've got a little bit of time. I'd love to start. Uh, existing in this new setup for our series before we bring the session to a close or our, our our comic book issue as it were so what is did we define the name of this um outdoor festival blockwide party i don't know if we did uh like know. i would think like the all night bushwick or something like it's a it's a 24 hour festival. Ooh, like it, it, yeah. it, it, it's supposed to go all night. Oh, so all it's day, it's totally ruined. Night. Yeah, it's totally ruined yeah. now, right? Sweet. And by the way, uh Mark, I think you shared with me the chili thing, right? Chili did, thing. Did you not share that? I thought you shared it with I me. I might have in Bushwick. Yeah. So there's a chili that has been cooking for Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um I could have see if I could find oh, it. Oh, where where was where did I say that? Yeah, perpetual stew. Yeah. B W Carlin on Twitter shared this link. I'll I'll drop it in chat. But I think this is part of the thing. Is there's a perpetual stew that has been cooking for uh, thirty three days. There's someone in Bushwick cooking a stew in a public park for thirty three days. You can show up with ingredients, and then they will put it in, and you get to eat some of it. <laughs> it is bizarre, but it's, no, that's, the that's, that's old deal. school yeah. way of keeping uh, keeping something on the uh, ready and you know going broths that are thirty years old. You know that <laughs> kind of thing. Yes. Cool. So uh, we open with the huge banner strung across uh, one of the streets, probably Knickerbocker Avenue, uh, announcing the. Did we call it just the Bushwick? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was so Bushwick excited. Bushwick overnight. Bushwick overnight. Bushwick overnight. And um, we see. I think it's afternoon. Uh, because that way there can be public school kids out. And there's uh, set up like parts of the road are shut down because they've set up for a, a live concert. The or noise ordinance doesn't kick in for a bit. And um, yeah, I think, oh, what was, uh, now I'm trying to remember the name of that club. I think it was, I think it was like a, I can't remember. Uh, so there are live, there's a live band playing. I think it's like a Dropkick Murphy style music because mm -hmm. that's fun and generally acceptable music for most all kinds of folk. And uh, there is another adoption barrage uh, activity going on for Jeff. So Jeff will be involved in that. And I think that they have like the the first of the block unification program. So the BUP, uh, there's a big BUP paint truck that's there, and they're they've they've cordoned off one of the buildings that has the most eyesore. Like they're going for the ugliest first, right? That's not that's owned by at least one of the buildings 
oh, 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 I'm going to tie it back. Um, it's the building that was bought by Gordon. Um, mm. It was the, um, it was in a, uh, it was like a bank of some kind. It was a local credit bank. Credit union. It, yes, thank you. It was a credit union. And the credit union had a wall that was, had a bunch of graffiti on it. And that's the first one. They're like painting it over a nice uniform color, restoring this credit union. And Gordon's, he's got mixed feelings about this, he says, but he's not stopped it. Um, Gordon's still got, I think he's got an arm and a sling from the pickleball injuries. <laughs> right? And he's got, it's like a couple, what do you think, band-aids on the neck or, or like the no? do he break his nose? What's a, a, an obvious, you know, TV style wound of some kind to show that he is he suffered injury at the hands he's of. He's definitely got the nose bandage. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then let's see. Oh man, <laughs> can't cut across boundaries. I think there's there's someone like putting up a sign to stay in your lane. You know, oh. is, is, <laughs> and it's an explanation of the new ordinance. Stay in your lane. Oh my god, that sounds horrific. You guys have made a dystopia. Good, good work. It only Yay, took us it didn't a few take sessions. much. <laughs> We're always on the border of a dystopia. Let's be honest. Uh, sweet. So we know that Jeff's there dealing with the adoption stuff. Barracuda. I imagine your bodega has contributed to Bushwick overnight in the past, but now everything seems to be a topsy turvy. So what's your participation in this? Um, so Barracuda has been handing out uh, flyers uh, for, for Bushwick overnight. Um, and he's been uh, basically, you know, normally th there's like a, a concert fee, or something mm -hmm. and he's been waiving that cost for people um he's been paying so that people don't have to pay anything to go and, and including their children so he's like basically giving out free tickets at the, the bodega and this is great because it's almost paying for itself almost um because people are coming to the bodega and they're buying stuff so it's working out just fine it's good it's good don't ask questions don't look at the books it's fine we'll cook it later it's good <laughs> <laughs> uh amazing and of course people have to stop and pet skippy from uh as they go by and grab milk we have one of the ladies like from the movie clerks it's like moving all the milk to get to the like freshest milk in the back there and she comes up you hand her some tickets and she thanks you profusely and buys a couple of the the good milks as she calls them before she heads out, puts them in her little bag because she's Bushwick, so of course you don't have to use plastic bags for her. She brings her own type of bag. And she pauses for a moment and says, um, so Malvolio, do you, you know, do you got that real nice, the real nice uh, on the side of the building there. You're not going to let the buppers paint that over, are you? Oh, Mrs. Despot, if they come, if they come, they're going to find out. They're going to find out about Bodega Enormous. I've got all, I've been in this place for 37 years. That's what I thought. That's what I told my husband. All right. I, I, she, she pats your hand and then she'll amble her way out with her two milks, lugging it along. Uh, Dynamo. I, or do we see you doing deliveries on your cool bike that you purchased with your ill-gotten goods from uh, yeah. selling out to the rivals? Nice. Yeah, I think I'm grumpier than usual, both because of a uh, being the the chastisement and the increasing shame uh, that I got from Olivier. And I'll talk with Olivier, um, and just like seeing everything happening, it just. Like I'm probably I'm riding a little bit harder than I should, uh, taking turns a little bit fast, uh, taking a few risks. Like it's not it's not going to affect me, but it's you know 
it's i'm not riding safely for others either <laughs> yeah, it's like, like put, putting all my frustration into the wheels oh man yeah i think there's a thing where you like take a, a curve really fast and there's a car that stops and they beep and then they scream out stay in your freaking lane Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like stop in front of and glare and like look at my watch and keep going <laughs> nice and you ride past olivier olivier i want to establish our escape reality yeah. uh, I, I think you've been personally invited by johnny storm um and he he comes out and it's i mean it's, it's johnny storm so it's got to be like super flash colorful three-story thing it's it's literally been built almost overnight by a number of Reed's machines and some and and he comes out he says hey Olivier he gives you a big hug it's steps back what do you think escape reality pretty good there's training is training room in the back if you need to you know keep that and Olivier is so stiff like does not return the hug and like i am perfectly fine i've been in more than enough training rooms for my entire life nah training is great come on it's no danger room but you know what we what we have at at the tower is pretty pretty good come in come in come in come in fine i'm supposed to go to work soon but sure listen Listen, he puts his arm around you. He says, I want it. That's why I'm glad you came here before work. So I want to talk to you about that. I understand you're working at Dweebs. And I went by and I cruised the place. Not a bad bubble tea. I, I'm, you know, I'm mixed on end. I prefer the uh, the one around the corner. But I'm thinking Dweebs, I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's really your thing. You could work. You could work here, Olivier. You could work here. He brings you in and click lights come on. You see all of this stuff has been painted on the inside and you see one of the escape room entrances. And then there's a bunch of spinner racks for comics and the like, and, uh, the long, uh, long counter where they've got just a little bit of a cafe set up, but yeah. So it's like, uh, I mean, you could, it's like, it's like, it's like dweebs. You could work behind the counter here. You could manage the shop if you want. I mean, you're really smart, Olivia. You could do this. Most crime happens in the evening. And Olivia like, looks a little overwhelmed for a second. Who put you up to this? Put me up to it? Hey, man, I just want to be part of part of people. This is this is for everybody to enjoy. And I just thought maybe you would like to be part of it too. I'm offended. Do you read his mind? He hates to use telepathy, so not yet. Okay. But he sort of arches a brow. Rico talk to you? Rico always talks to me. He's very chatty. We're good friends. Yeah, he's Rico. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. It's a great deal. I was thinking, whatever you make it, Dweebs, let's just you know quadruple it, and you can work here. You don't have to manage the shore if you don't want to. You could just work behind the bar. If you're like security just by existing, I'm not going to be able to be here a whole lot. I just want to kind of seagull in. That's a good term, right? Seagull in. And just have fun with people, and then when I have to go do fa- f you know f- feature foundation stuff, then I don't have to worry about it because you'll be around. You're local, and I I'm a quasi local, semi local, like local adjacent, nearby ish. Olivia just kind of like lets Johnny talk himself out because he spent enough time around the family <laughs> to kind of know a bit about how they work. Mm-hmm. And no, really, who put you up to this? No, nobody. Come on, Olivier. Yeah, your lip just wobbled in that way where, like, sometimes you pout when you want to 
be cuter. I think that's what you're going for. So people will question you less and you won't get in trouble for a thing you did. Rico did think it was a really good idea and Reed had some funds that he was willing to throw my way and Ben said it's good for me to throw myself into something new after the breakup. So, you know, oh, who's lots of people with? are on. It doesn't matter. But it's like lots of people are, are behind this. It's it's like a village. It takes a village. Do you want to be part of our village? You could be the alderman of our village. I or a sheriff. Left a colony. You think I want to join a village? Um, you keep asking me questions that you know the answer to, and that's that's not fair. Do you want to do you want to do it or not? No. Man. Why don't you think about it? Think about it, Olivier. Just like think about it. Okay? I'll think about it. He kind of human torch flies over and lands on the other side of the counter and starts trying to whip up a little mocha or something for you. I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll think about it. In exchange, you are going to make that, that, you know, whatever contribution mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the festival that we're raising money for today. What's happening tonight? Sure. I thought you guys got an influx of funds. You're opening up the charter school. Everything's yeah, charter up school, Bushwick. Not, not the public school, man. Oh, yeah, the public school. Yeah, do do we need to donate some money? And he pauses for a second because he hates he hates this, but it's for good. Yeah. Have Reed, I don't know, build a science department or something. Ooh, some STEM? He he gets you know, he gets a semi from if in the STEM program, so maybe we have Oh, Sue would be on board if it was like a girl-oriented STEM program. Yeah, sounds great. Oh man! And okay. uh, pulls out his like magic phone, this like see-through, and kind of folds out a couple times and starts tapping away. And Olivier smirks and thinks for a moment. Looks at like Johnny. Johnny has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for taking up my time this morning, Cher, you're going to do me a favor. Uh-huh. Sure. You're going to take me on a date at insert name of club where uh, Bushwick's best likes to hang out. Okay, but I don't really see you that way, Olivier. It's not really about that. Okay. I don't want to DTR or anything, but like, what do you need? A date with a blonde. Okay. Well, I guess I do fit the bill. Okay, sure. I like reach over, pat him on the shoulder. I'm absolutely not drinking a mocha made by him. And it's heavy <laughs> just, on the mocha. Yeah. And I have a job to get to. And it's going to work. For now. For now. He says as you're as you're now. walking out. Sweet, uh, and I think after you exit the, the shot lingers on Johnny Storm, and then um, you see Herbie, comes, kind of hovering in Herbie the little robot thing. There's a picture of of Herbie there, and Herbie says you came on way too strong. I I know I know. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the scene. Um, since we've seen, I, I do want to get a moment of Jeff before we close out. Uh, how Jeff? How have things been? What are you doing at the uh, pet adoption garage? Well, you know, essentially, there's all that going on, but it, what you see is Jeff is um, 
like super relieved because his boss shows up. He's like, oh, thank God, Gina, here. And gets gets her set down by the table, you know, where they're taking the applications for adoptions and, and stuff like that. And they don't have any of the cats or any pets there because it would be too stressful for them. But what they have is like live video of all <laughs> of these different, you know, cats and dogs like um, on there. Like they've set up a bunch of like cheap phones that are on there and they're like, and monitors. So they've got that going on there and then they've got applications and he gets you to set up. And then you see him put on like this karate, you know, uh, the shirt and his purple belt. And he goes, he goes, yeah, we're doing a, a demonstration. So for the festival, so I gotta go, I'm, I'm captain. And um, you see him run, he gets to the stage. He's like, just there at a bunch of time. There are a bunch of kids there. It's oh. like, you know, five to 10 year olds. <laughs> and then there's Jeff. <laughs> Is Jeff their sensei? No, he's just <laughs> the best student in the in the green belt <laughs> class. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so they like, bring out boards. The kids are yeah. like cutting a boards to you, and we see does Jeff like headbutt a board, or is he going through some, like bricks or something? What do we see Jeff do? Yeah, this the thing is that Jeff Jeff does all the things the kids do, but also the kids spar with him, and he lets them beat him does that make any sense so there's that kind of thing sure, of, you know sure. he's doing that kind of thing so he's like the good sport guy that's with them all and um oh, they they love, they love it the oh, kids love yeah. it yeah. they they think he's awesome uh that's amazing and then at the end i think one of the kids gives you a headband with the dojo symbol on it for you to wear because they think that's cool yeah, I put it on. I know I'm doomed for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Never going to meet a cute girl this way. <laughs> yeah, and I think as you put that on, you're you're like donning it on. You're still on the stage, and everybody's about to be ushered off. And when you look out into the crowd, Jeff, you see this is there. And she just looks and she takes a picture of you wearing the head. And she's smiling. Like, it's a good nature smile. It's not a mocking mm -hmm. smile. It's just, I must have a picture of this in my gallery <laughs> forever. All right. I'll give her a thumbs up so she can, you know. <laughs> Take another picture of that because that is, that is the piece de resistance. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's really, really good. Cool. Uh, music swells, and the first part of our Bushwick overnight begins as we bring this session to a close is there any, any tag scenes or anything folks want to, to throw in i don't want to shut you off if you had an idea that you didn't get a chance to express okay cool uh thank you all for that let's do our end of session questions which i should stick in the character keeper but i have the questions here so at the end of every issue the entire table of GM and players should discuss the following questions. Did you clash with someone who threatened your neighborhood? Gosh, yes. Did you protect the citizens of your neighborhood at least once? You specifically did that and thought that was wonderful. Did you defeat a villain or have a conflict with your rival team? Yeah. Also, yes. So for each yes, the group on the group questions, every surviving superpower being earns one XP. So that's three XP for everyone. Now I'm going to be going around and posing the following questions to each player to answer for your specific character, although other players can chime in to encourage the player to answer yes if they're hesitant. Um, and I'm, the, I'm probably the only person. Well, the, only the GM should push back or argue against any of the yes answers from a player, uh, but I rarely do. Uh, so let's start with Olivier. Did you struggle with your normal day-to-day -day obligations? Mm. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't. Uh, I think you did because there was the there was the thing about whether or not you're going to work at the the comic book oh. store or whether mm -hmm. you're going to work at the coffee shop. Yeah. Sell out or no That's sell your out. Life. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what? I'll take that. Yeah, do I do I yeah do I just whip myself back into the familial money teat or keep struggling 
Yes, I specifically tried to set that up, so I'm, I'm glad that you agree. Did you support another teammate when they needed you? Um, I think so. Who? I think when, like, I guess maybe support is the questionable word here because I think it doesn't have to be mechanically tough, tough love. I think is kind of what Olivier gave Dynamo mm-hmm. about some of her choices, which I think is a form of support, but. I think so too. Are you okay with that, Mark? Do you, do you think yeah. that qualifies? Okay. All right. Good. So that's two XP for Olivier. Uh, let's go to Vector. No. Did you struggle with your normal day to day obligations? That's interesting. Uh, well, uh, I guess rent. <laughs> yeah. And hot water. <laughs> Rent hot water, and also I I think and tell me if you feel like this is a stretch, but also the like trying to hide that you are a normal person. Yeah, exactly. Your secret identity stressors. There. Yes, it is very stressful. So, so take okay. an XP for that. Did you support okay. another teammate when they needed you? <sighs> well, I had previously with the bodega, but um, I did take that cool picture of of um olivia um and posted up just to make sure that a the team got the thing but also so olivia was looking cool because i know that that's really actually important to them it's kind of important to him i think yeah i'm into it are you do you feel that that supported you olivier yeah i don't think he wants it but yes <laughs> but doesn't he cool uh thank you very much uh barracuda did you struggle with your normal day-to-day obligations? Uh, yes, fixing the hot water heater and um, dealing with my tenant who never pays. Never pays. And okay. and somebody knocked over all of the ho-hos. <laughs> <laughs> you just found out about it. Uh, and then Dynamo, did you... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you support another teammate when they needed you, Barracuda? Yes, the, the flashback scene with Wildcard and and all that good stuff uh oh, dynamo did you struggle with your normal day-to-day obligations um i'm not sure if i did the only thing i can think of is uh struggling to not kill anyone on my bike <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well i so you tell me i feel like there's the possibility of a struggle in dealing with the job offer that's coming. Yeah, yeah. I guess that, yeah, because, yeah, money, money things is not, yeah, I'll take that one. Job cool. struggles. Did you support someone, a teammate, when they needed you? Oh, did I? Um, I don't think I did. I think I was pretty self centered this, this round. Hmm. Now I have to put you guys in more dire straits, so you have to support each other. Oh, we'll work on that. Cool. That completes the round of XP. Let's do stars and wishes. We have two minutes. So if anyone needs to go, feel free to go first with wishes. We start with wishes so we can end with stars. Uh, I had a great time all around. The The, the fight was good. The d- dynamics there was super fun. Uh, it was neat to see how that data worked mechanically. Uh, and I liked that it wasn't just all of us just like piling on, throwing throwing damage at the numbers. It was mm-hmm. there's a lot of good like role playing and interaction and uh, messing with our powers and stuff like that. Uh, and like the whole, the whole I, I love the the new block roll, uh, getting all that new stuff set up for the neighborhood is really really okay. entertaining. I'm really happy. Uh, did you have any wishes or things you wanted to set up for for um, in the new series? Yeah, I th- I think. Kind of like what we we're just saying. I, I think Dynamo's getting angrier and angrier, um, and I think it would be fun to either talk that out with some folks, whether it's uh, the rest of the team or someone else, um, and just like see some uh, see some blowback from that. Uh, maybe bring the the mobsters back in at some point. Those are, those are fun guys to beat up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the Silver Main volume. I'll just yeah. I'll just tell you that it is the Silver Main volume. So nice. Uh, and that because I mentioned Silver Main, I want to do a quick check in and, and maybe I do this 
well, maybe I should do this off court, but is it interesting to people if Silvermane embodies some pretty ugly ideas about, you know, keep Bushwick great kind yeah. of ideas? Are yeah. we okay with that? So we don't have coded <laughs> things, uh, coded language uh, on our safety tools, but it it's one of those that can kind of sneak up on you. So I just want to mm. check in before I have him say some really offensive Dog stuff. Whistly stuff. Yes, yes. Because the charter school, like all of that feels very playing into Silvermane's approach, which is mm. is very like Florida, but in New York. Um, mm -hmm. well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Is you want to, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Mark, for your wishes. Uh, who'd like to go next with wishes? I can go next. Um, I would like to see a little bit of, I, I, I really enjoyed the little interlude that brought Barracuda back in. Um, I would love to see that bleed back into our part of the multiverse a little bit. Um, and I'm looking forward to uh, this this festival thing and and how it's all going to go terribly, terribly awry. Nice. I love it. Thank you, Greg, for those wishes. I can't wait to try to grant them. Who would like to go next, Sherry or Kay? I can go. <clears throat> I think I have two wishes. One, I do want to see a multi um, um universe barracuda that looks just like our barracuda but isn't that jeff stumbles into um and i think the other thing that i would love to see is uh jeff finally um kind of coming clean about who he is to at least one of the team members so just because it's super hard to do some of the support stuff right love it that's great sherry and i did i i recognize what you're saying i think it's been great but you're right it can at some point become a pressure that can make it challenging so i'm excited I, the super secret id reveal is it's gonna be fun yeah and it's just it's something like it's because it keeps him from being able to support as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know sorry uh slight side tangent okay one of the things about the whole Arrowverse genre of stories versus other superhero comics and shows is that in Arrowverse, starting with Arrow, but definitely in Flash and others, they like rush to bring people into the like the circle. And, you know, yeah. th instead of one secret ID, like instead of the Spider-Man approach where no one knows uh, Green Arrow, like he had a team you know and flash has a team and they all know the secret identity and i found that that kind of broke my brain at first and showed me all kinds of really new relationships and stories because then you can have multiple like an ensemble of characters that help to protect the secret or take different choices or actions because of the secret so i'm really excited about the reveals all i'm saying i think it'll be great kate did you have any wishes yeah, so obviously uh, a date with a blonde at at the club Megan Frequence uh, is on the agenda for sure. Indeed, I love it. Because uh, something, something petty. Uh, then, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'd love, yeah, some multiversal shenanigans. I'd love, we're we're doing very good so far. I'd love to see us take some licks. Okay. Obviously, that's, that's hard for us to control with dice and things like that, but. Uh, interesting. Uh, cool. That sounds good to me. It was a House of Yes, because House of Yes was the club that you guys sold to. It was a different club. I'll find it. I, for some reason, didn't note it down. Bad on me. Fooey on me. Cool. Take some licks. Uh, licking will happen. I mean, wait. No, that's not what I meant. There is a date with Johnny Storm. I know. Uh <laughs> I think he sees himself as like your really cool uncle. So he has weird feelings about it, but he'll play along. 
Because he's Johnny Storm. He's bad at saying no. <laughs> he is bad at saying no. Uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, stars. Yeah. So that whole meta scene, Rich and Greg, was absolutely delightful. The villain, but the care for the grandpa, but the, uh, it, it was the crime family. Just, uh, Chef Kiss. The, the, he, his brain's not good. Well, his brain was never good. It just, <laughs> so great like really really loved that um i enjoyed dynamo and olivier's talk i think they're very like as like the two younger people kind of on the team there's like a bit of a dynamic there they're, they're both like i feel like also like more not necessarily more hero in a way but just more like the hero is them than the other two uh, where that definition between spaces is is pretty much nil. And so I think that creates for some interesting dynamic. I'd love to see, uh, you know, maybe a follow-up chat with that, but I, I'm enjoying that dynamic between them. Uh, and then Sherry, Jeff is such a sweet pea. The, 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 the you owe me rent with you need to fix my water heater is just so great. Just nowhere makes sense i could take nowhere rich uh okay, thanks. Like, yeah that was a lovely scene uh what a great combat to landlords <laughs> that was really fun and i appreciate that we don't just go oh barracuda's a landlord and everything's great no barracuda isn't a great landlord sometimes there there's he has problems no oh, and uh my biggest star to be here for being here <laughs> he's staring at me intently right now as he should Excellent. Thank you so much, Kay. Sherry, did you have any stars? Oh, definitely. Um, a, it was fabulous to have Greg back. Uh, his Barracuda is classic. The um, His scene coming in, I it was so good, so cinematic. Um, it was the multiverse that I want to see. Old guys yelling at each other across... <laughs> across different worlds um it was it was perfect um i uh, i love dynamo's just absolute energy in the way that sort of anger and frustration propels them through so many different situations um it's it's like that age that's exactly what the fuel is a lot of times and it's just really cool um, and Olivier is, how do you say, uh, the coolest angry kid ever. Um, like you've got, you have so much sensibility about like how they're looking, how they're posing, how they're, you know, that, that sort of tone of voice that I'm like, oh boy. Yeah. I remember that exactly. You are incredibly self-possessed. Um, and it, I mean, it, it's just like such a great character that way because it's like he's much older in some ways than you would be at 18 and or whatever, but whichever age he is in that early, the late teens, early 20s. Um, but it makes so much sense because it's like he's seen so many things and he's fighting against something really powerful that he's had to, you know, he's got, he's rebelling against it and yeah working it out so it's really cool to watch um and um rich i just i really want to thank you for all of the the space that you give us to do the character stuff um like even in the fights it was all good character work so it and we had that time to do it it wasn't just numbers always good i love this game flyweight we have all the time in the world okay. to do what we want <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Greg, what about you? Any stars uh, you want to I'm, share? Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, Sherry, I love being the the, the, the terrible landlord. Uh, thank you for calling me out on the water heater. That made it for a great refresh scene later. Uh, it was super nice. Um, okay, I'm loving how much trouble uh, Wildcard keeps getting us into. Um, and I really enjoyed uh, that being my entrance back was the, oh, I got to do like, Wild cards down and out. We got to get wild card back up. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then also, uh, Mark, I, oh shoot, what was it? The, 
I had one. It's a very specific one. Oh boy, it's just not. This is not my day. This has been. Uh, it's been the day of loss of words, man. Oh, uh, Dynamo punching out uh, the Hammer Bro during the fight at the very <laughs> top. That was that like that was all Barracuda needed to see to like understand what what the real situation was going on. Um, so I was like, I was very excited about that. I was like, oh, I get it now. It's all a setup. Um, because that wasn't explained to even me as a player yet. And once once that happened, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I get what's going on now. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was playing a little bit with like player character knowledge there. No, no, it was you. perfect. I loved it because okay. yeah, it sold it perfectly. Excellent. Thank you, Greg. Uh, Mark, any stars left out there that you didn't hear you want to share? Yeah, I think I actually dropped some of my stars at the beginning of the wishes. But that's oh, fine. true, true, true. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just to like double down on what everyone was saying. So many, so many good moments from everyone. Uh, the uh, the the characterization is not just like oh, like that's that's something that they would do. Like that's something that only they would do. <laughs> it's, it's like really, really tight on across the board on everyone. Um, yeah, I just I just love even if even if Dynamo is not interacting directly with them, just watching watching y'all uh, do your thing. It's really great. Uh, excellent session. Really enjoyed. I'm gonna throw it. one more wish in there actually, really quickly. One more wish. Okay. Give I it. realized uh, it wasn't necessarily seen. Uh, I can't wait to see the Dynamo and Megan chat because mm. she uh, she was like, "Come join Bushwick's best. Be our brick." Uh, and I'm I can't wait to see that. I'm very curious how she's gonna spin that. She's gonna be like, yeah, femme fatale team. Like, yeah, like I'm just That's very true. excited for that conversation to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, my wish, and, and it's a silly wish because I get to grant it. But my wish is, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the turn for Hammer Bro, who's been thrown out on his ass for being a oh, dumb. God hero so that's gonna be fun oh my god is he come is he just like is he gonna try and join us now is he gonna just be around what is what is hammer bro gonna do i know those are the questions that we will we'll have to answer together uh really enjoyed the session i love this game i love these characters in this game this is this is dynamite i'm really really having fun can't wait to continue so uh, with that we will not continue but bring this recording to a close thank you all so much for playing and uh, goodbye